live. And ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> okay, I think we're up and going. Welcome everyone to Northeastern Pickers live auction. This is our first auction we're going to be doing. Um, and let's get the video up here. Just getting everything kind of set up. We're starting a half hour early. The auction starts at 4 o'clock. Um, we are just getting everything kind of set up right now. If anybody has any questions, if you're in the chat, please ask away. And we will be happy to answer any questions you might have. So... We have a lot of stuff today. We have Black Series figures. We have Funko Pops. A lot of Star Wars stuff. Pokemon. Uh, sports memorabilia. We have um, football cards, baseball cards. Unopened packs from 30 years ago. Um, we have hockey packs that haven't been open. Okay. Here, please use frame key frequency for four seconds. Currently, keyframes are... Yeah, I have no idea what that. Like I said, first auction. <laughs> uh, please key, use keyframes frequency of four seconds or less. Currently, free keyframes are not being sent often enough, which can cause buffering. The current keyframe frequency is 8.3 seconds. Note, congestions, errors can cause incorrect GOP group of picture sizes. Okay. I have no idea how to change any of that. That's all in OBS software, so hopefully it's looks like everything's going well over here. I think it's because of the slideshows that we have on. Um, there's some slideshows, guys, off to would be this side. Now, if the audio's there and everything, we'll be good. I, I just turned it on, check it. The audio is running. Okay. So yeah, the slideshow you see next to me, uh, that's a bunch of the stuff that we're going to have today. Um, we have packs from 1991 with NHL that has Wayne Gretzky cards in it. Um, Bobby Orr is who you're looking for as well. He's a you know famous hockey player there. Um, we have the English version and the bilingual version of those packs unopened. Here, let me grab them so you guys can see. Actually, it's a picture up in the corner. There's one. This would be the um, English series. And then we have the bilingual series, which is also series one. From 1991 those are unopened packs so like i said wayne gretzky bobby orr some great guys there uh we have 1991 bowman football picture cards um these packs will be sold um these are going to be going for you know we're gonna start them out each pack at a dollar uh these have people like john elway um thurman thomas we have um dan marino cards in here there's just a bunch of cool different cards that you can get from that those packs as well um we did get some uh, crit cuts, um, not like machines, but like the uh, things that cut things out. Here, I'll grab those. So just little things for um, scrapbooking and stuff like that. So if you guys are interested in those, those are cool. Um, we have so much stuff that we're going to be selling. So like I said, we're just getting everything set up now uh, for 4 o'clock. So let's see. Is everything looking good on your video? Yep. Okay. Audio says, seems to be running consistently. Okay, it says the stream is healthy. So. The well, lag is about 10 seconds. About 10 seconds? Okay. That's what I figured it was going to be. So this is the live chat. Make sure when you guys are bidding that you are in the live chat and not on the comment board. Um, if you go on the uh, comment board and you're bidding, you're not gonna, your bids aren't going to count because they're, they're not going to be able to be viewed. Uh, in time so make sure like I said you guys are in the live chat with these videos um, as well um, everybody will be responsible for their own shipping um, we're gonna have our zip code uh, that which I will be putting up whenever we sell stuff um, I could probably just put it right on the video or you know when we have a better I'll just say you know the zip code where it's being shipped from we can calculate the shipping uh, most of the stuff that we have is is under a couple pounds I mean these are only a couple ounces so it won't, it won't kill the bank or anything like that so that's a good thing, but uh, yeah, we also have uh, glass insulators. These are um, vintage ones. These are four electric fences. A lot of people are collecting these. These are really nice. Uh, let me see. We got a lot of Star Wars pops. We got Pokemon pops that we just got in. Thank you so much for your help. 
We got Mew, Pokemon Pop. We got uh, Stranger Things. We got two Stranger Things Ghostbuster ones. These will be coming up for auction. Black Series. Yes, we have so many Black Series figures. Uh, we have a Captain Rex Black Series figure that's going to be coming up for auction tonight. Really nice, highly collectible, that one is. Uh, we have the uh, Tuscan Raider. These are the 3-inch. So we have 6-inch and 3-inch available. Um, we have Funko Pops that are exclusive to Walgreens, GameStop, Walmart, Target. Um, we have a Chewbacca writing a ATST, which is really cool. You guys remember that. <laughs> That's a pretty cool pop, honestly. I'm pretty excited to see what that goes for. So yeah, like I said, you know the auction's gonna start up at four o'clock. We also have these Lego. Um, these are Darth Maul. This is uh, his small ship, and him himself that are gonna be going up for auction. So pretty cool to see those. Let's see when these were made. I think these would have been right around the uh, same time as the movies coming out. Oh, thank you. And then we also have Pokemon tins full of cards. We have 100 cards per tin. And that's these are the same ones here. So there's different variations on the uh, colors. Uh, we have the Dragonite ones. And then I forget this guy's name. It'll come to me eventually. <laughs> I'm an older style Pokemon kid. I came out with the uh, 95 series, so... This guy's a little bit of a newer one, but these are 100 card packs. They have either a holographic card in them. Uh, there's The cards have not been gone through, so there's reverse holographics, there's rares, uncommons, you know, commons. Um, but you'll either get a holographic, a coin, or a figure. Um, we also have um, a larger... Thank you. We have a larger tin that uh, holds 200 cards, um, and then we have a very large tin that holds 300. So, uh, Darth Vader Showerhead, we'll show them that. Those are pretty cool. Got a couple of these available. Uh, these are Darth Vader shower heads, pretty awesome, and it actually comes with the hose and the holder for your shower. So, yeah, those are pretty awesome. There we go. And oh, I guess I can show them this too. This is also coming up for auction today. This is a autograph back from Frank Thomas the Hurt. Uh, he played for the White Sox. Um, he just started doing some commercials for what was it? I think he's doing commercials for like a steroid or a male enhancement or something like that but we have his bat autographed <laughs> so pretty cool to get something autographed by a professional major league baseball player but yeah so pretty much we're starting this up making sure we get people in here um kind of explain what's going on with everything um like i said also i want to make sure you guys know in the about um comment area like when you go back to the video and you're in the regular area where it says about the auctions and everything like that there is an auction contract and i would like you guys to read through that and make sure you understand the stipulations of you know when you do bid here and you are bidding on an item you are if you win you are responsible to pay for that item uh the item is has to be paid for within 24 hours of the auction ending once that's taken care of uh, we'll talk and figure out what how much it's going to cost to ship once you pay for shipping um it'll be shipped out the next business day um, so yeah, that's pretty much the plan there. So now we just uh, wait the other, you know, non-watch 22 minutes for the auction to begin. If anybody comes in here, has any questions about anything that we're selling today, you'll pretty much sit here and watch me uh, drink a Diet Pepsi until we're ready to go. So really excited for the first auction to be going and uh, glad that, you know, all the people that have been following us on Facebook, uh, here on YouTube, really appreciate it. It's been really exciting to see uh, some of the people that have reached out to me and yeah it's, it's gonna be great we also have loose baseball cards loose football cards we have some couple big boxes full of cards um and those will also be sold uh today as well so box lot. what's that as a box lot as a box lot yeah selling individual cards would not work out well at this kind of auction we would be here until next week so there's a lot of cards there uh, let's see. We also have a LeBron James and Co uh, Carmelo Anthony. Uh, these are like figure statues. Um, we got a GI Joe coat. A uh, little NASCAR diecast gold-plated car that's here. Um, a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff to go through. So hopefully uh, we'll get this kicked off and start at four o'clock. So. Watching me drink a Pepsi. Watching me drink a Pepsi, that's right. Let's see if we have anybody in here right now. Looks like we were the only three viewers, but that's okay. I'm going to keep this up on the Facebook page so people can see how it runs and everything. So this will be a recorded video and it will stay up on the page. 
some people like to take stuff down there. So I have the live chat here on my phone. I have the live chat over here as well. So I'm just glad that everything's up and running. I didn't expect anybody to really be in here at this time, though. I was just kind of making sure the video runs well and everything's up and nope. going. And it seems like every, the audio's been consistent, with no breaks or choppiness. That's good. Video's running consistently. Perfect. Yeah. I think this is just, it's saying a frequency of four seconds. The current keyframe is 8.1 seconds. So that means there's just going to be a little lag. If it was like 12 to 15 seconds, we'd have, we'd have issues. It would start breaking up and all that fun stuff. So yeah, now we will get individual notifications as people join. Yep, uh, there will be an eyeball here that will show that somebody's viewing. We've had three consecutive viewers, which would be me, yourself, and I believe my uh, mother might have hopped in. She says she's going to come out and do some um, moderating as well. I got this phone going with the live chat, and yeah, so it'll show people coming in. This live chat is will be where they uh, they bid, and you know. Sit and wait. Now we sit and wait. Yeah, pretty much. I should probably post something on the Facebook page and let people know that we're up and going. We have stuff. We have stuff. We're selling stuff. waiting for people to show up. That's a really nice view, though. The side of your head. Oh, I know. Isn't it great? It's fantastic. so I believe they can view that I just posted uh, stuff on the page too on the Facebook page like I said most of the people I think are right two others now watching two others now watching there we go that might have been me being one of them actually I don't think you can tell who's watching who's not but pretty much people will comment and that's all we'll do make sure that I got the live up and going here That's why I have different electronics going. It's because sometimes it will not tell you if... Uh, yeah, your uh, video just stalled. Did it? It started back up. <sighs> okay. Please use keyframe frequency of four seconds or less. Wonder... play around with that too much because the last thing I want is I am going to take these slideshows off though I think because everybody knows what's here well if we have new people come in it might be good to keep them on or maybe just make it one I try to do that but they only allow so many photos per slideshow and we had more than the one so I did one of Star Wars and one of the rest of the stuff and we still have new stuff that's come in so Let me see. Well, that's awkward. Oh, is it because you don't have it turned on yet? I tried to do that, but they no, I have it turned on. I don't understand what's going on. Let me do this. I'm going to my YouTube channel, clicking on the actual live auction. Isn't that where I was just watching? 
Yeah. And the live chat isn't up yet for some reason. Or maybe you have to start it over there. Well, it should be started right now. That's the thing that I'm uh, wondering what's going on. Let me go to events again. Let me just do this. Let me take you to an event. That's not. No, you didn't start your live chat. Yet. Yeah, it started. Okay. Because it's up on my phone. Go to link. There it is. Okay, now live chat's up. I'm going. Okay. When you click on the link, so yeah, look at the live chat. Remember to guard your privacy. Participants. Okay. There. That's how I can tell who's there and who's not there. Okay. So live chat is working. Good. Test them. So yeah, we're just, I think everybody's just going to probably hop on around four. We've got to wait for that. There you go. Yeah, and you just popped up on that. There we go. There was almost no lag in that. Yeah, that's nice. Says uh, four people have watched consecutive viewers, so I think we only count as two. So let's check with her real quick, make sure she's watching. Have you hopped on? You haven't hopped on at all yet. Okay, so that means somebody random mom hasn't even hopped on yet. Yeah, just oh, it just went down by three. Okay, so this is who's watching right now live. Okay, so that means we had. Again, the video just stalled. Did it? Because it's not stalling on mine. Yeah, mine hasn't stalled at all yet. Okay, so that means we have three people watching right now. If you're here, uh, make sure that. Um, best thing I'm going to have everybody do is when they do come in here and they are planning on bidding or just, you know, even participating, just watching, uh, comment in the chat to the right, uh, comment, to the, comment into the live chat. Just so I know that there are people here, there are people watching. It says we have four consecutive viewers right now. So if you guys are here planning on bidding or watching, make sure you comment in the live chat so I have your name so we can write them down. So if you guys do bid on something, we have your information ahead of time. So we have four people watching right now. And that's what the consecutive viewer means. I thought it meant that somebody popped in. Viewed and left. No, that means who's watching right now. So concurrent viewers. Yep. So yeah, we have a lot of good stuff that's going to be coming up. Uh, we're going to be starting the auction at four right now. We're just kind of getting everything set up, getting the video going. Um, we have Star Wars stuff, Pokemon stuff, sports memorabilia. Uh, we got some scrapbooking stuff today. Oh, okay. My mom is one of them. She said I am here. Okay. Guard your privacy. Don't say, hey, that's my mom. <laughs> yes, make sure you're on live chat. That is a good point. Excuse me. I'm wondering if I zoom this up. Okay, so I won't be able to see live chat if I zoom that up. Okay. Okay, we're going to be starting up in 11 minutes, 4 o'clock.
Yeah, that's a pretty good size delay with the video. Wow. Okay. Down to three consecutive viewers right now. So, it's got a one minute delay. should start with first item maybe go with the football packs I start with some cards yeah. yeah I might just do with the unopened packs and start with those then do a couple pops then move over to Star Wars stuff got a lot to sell a lot of stuff Oh, like I was saying earlier in the chat as well, um, if you are a local person um, to St. Lawrence County, uh, we are going to be doing pickup days as well, um, and that will be next week. So you, if you don't want to have to pay for shipping, um, we're going to have a couple days next week, which uh, the first day will be Wednesday, and we're going to be doing that at the uh, St. Lawrence Arena, uh, the Messina Mall. It will be out in the old Ames parking lot off to the left of the main entrance of the Messina Mall. So if you guys do buy anything and you're wanting to pick up on Wednesday, we're going to be doing that at 3 o'clock on Wednesday. Um, it will be over at the Messina Mall, like I said, right off to the left of the main entrance. And I will be in contact with the people that day. Um, for people out in Potsdam and Canton, I will be out on Friday afternoon at 3 o'clock. And I'm planning on doing that out haven't really picked a location yet for for Friday for Canton and Potsdam but I was thinking about doing um, Pine Street Arena in Potsdam which is the hockey arena um, if you guys don't know where that is just like a Pine Street Arena that'll be at 3 o'clock on Friday that'll be a good spot because it's between Canton and Potsdam kinda so you guys don't have to travel all the way to Messina so depends on uh, where you're from yes there will be instructions on where we're gonna be meeting and how everything's going to go down with that, so. Yeah. So, yeah, if you're local, you don't have to pay for shipping. You can actually get it picked up in person, so that's going to be the nice part. But same rules apply. Uh, make sure that payment is uh, done um, 24 hours after the auction ends today. Um, if you are having it shipped, uh, it will be shipped next business day. Um, we're going to be... We have a scale right here. I have a weighing scale with the uh, UPS or uh, with um, USPS kind of weighing scale, and we'll do that. We'll get your address. Um, we'll calculate the shipping, and I'll email you and let you know um, how much shipping is going to cost. But like I said, we have a lot of Funko Pops. We got a lot of Star Wars memorabilia, Pokemon cards, uh, baseball cards, football cards, hockey cards, NBA cards. Uh, we got a couple. We got two big boxes are, that are just jam packed of cards. There's one that I've actually gone through and priced a lot of it, and it's like over four hundred dollars worth of cards in there. Um, but myself, I don't have enough time to go, you know, sell each individual one. So I put a bunch of them in a box, and we're gonna sell that box. So definitely a good deal for you guys there. The other one, I actually haven't gone through the box at all. There's just a bunch of cards in there um, from all different years um, and that box is going to go up for sale too and there's over 500 cards in that box and it's football and there might be some baseball not 100% sure like I said I haven't gone through it so yeah. six, minutes. six minutes until we start yeah and we also have um, some scrapbooking stuff we got some antique uh, glassware that this is um, insulators from an electric fence uh, these are really cool little pieces here a lot of people collect them, especially people who used to work on, on farms. I know I've seen one person do a wind chime with them. It's kind of cool, even though they don't really make. I guess they make a kind of a noise. Yeah, he had one hanging below a wind chime as the weight when the light hit it. It was really cool. Oh. Yep. I saw somebody. They what they did is they took this. and This was the weight at the bottom of the wind chime, and they took old barn wood, 
and they, they cut it really thin, so when the barn wood was hitting, it was making that weird noise, and then this was hanging and glistening, and it was kind of like an old rustic wear wind chime. I was like, that's really nice. cool to repurpose well, yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. If you guys are viewing right now, you're planning on uh, bidding, make sure you guys are uh, commenting in the live chat and not the comment area. Um, if you put your bids in the comment area, I'm not going to be able to see them, and they're not going to be a part of the live chat. With live chat, they come in really pretty fairly quick so that's why we're trying to keep it with there but we are starting up in five minutes guys five minutes four o'clock is when the auction starts so exciting <laughs> I know we had a couple people that have come in and gone, oh, he's not starting yet. I'm going to head back out. <laughs> but as high as six. Ooh, there we go. Hey, it's a start. Nobody yeah. expected me to start a half hour early. I just wanted to get everything kind of set yeah, up. Make and sure everything works. works. Yeah, make sure the video works, too. It looks like it's doing, it's doing a good job with it so far, so fingers crossed on that. Um, not too many laggy parts, which is good. Yeah, no, that's, that's definitely a plus. Quite a full minute behind lag. Okay, that's not terrible. I know I've had a lot of people message me about the uh, Pokemon cards and the uh, sports cards as well. Interested in that. Funko Pops and the Star Wars stuff too. The Star Wars stuff a lot of people have messaged me about. It's a couple pieces people were interested in, so that's that's good. Make sure I share this out, so I know my I had a couple friends that said they wanted to hop in. weird thing it doesn't let me actually share out the live which it should oh there it is copy link live chat there we go we'll be starting up in three minutes guys so make sure you're in here and you're getting ready Sharing it out to social media, getting, it, getting people out there, getting them knowing about it. And it'll be a good first auction that we're going to be having. Okay, let's make sure that's up and live. Two minutes, guys. Two minutes, we're going to be starting the live auction here. What I'll do also is if uh, at the beginning, that's why I'm starting with the cards, the, uh, the football cards packs. If they don't sell at the beginning, I have them up and I'll bring them up later and go, yeah, okay, you know, we, we tried these earlier, uh, there wasn't many people in here yet, and we'll just uh, do that. So that's why I'm starting with some uh, low-key kind of things to get people in here, and then from Makes there. Sense. Yep. It's like I did some research on this or something. I didn't do any research. That's the same goes. It's a thing. It's a thing. <laughs> It's a thing. One minute, guys. One minute. We're going to be starting the auction. I'm, I'm excited. I have been waiting all week for this, to be 100% honest. Hey, what's up, Matt? How's it going, man? Matt Hunter in the chat. I'm going to give a call out to Matt because Matt is a video game streamer who does retro video games. Retro, let me say that correctly. 
video games on Facebook, um, and he live streams. It's Hunter's Hybrid Gaming, so make sure you guys go over there, give him a like and a follow. He's a great guy. Does a merch giveaway of his own merch, so it's really cool, and um, very entertaining person to talk to, so... Look at mom sounding all official in that chat. <laughs> she ain't kidding around, guys. She came to go. Okay, guys, it is 4 o'clock. And you know what that means? It's time for the first Northeastern Pickers live auction. I'm excited to, to do this. We got five people in the uh, chat right now. No problem, Matt. Not a problem at all, man. Um, so, yeah, this is our first, first auction. We're going to plan on trying to do one at least twice a month of, you know, different sports uh, memorabilia sports cards uh we're gonna try to get everything and anything whatever we can get our hands on pretty much um so that's that's pretty much the deal there we are gonna start out with auctioning off some smaller stuff just so we can get people in here get them get this uh, whole crowd growing and then we'll move on to some of the more uh you know sought after things hey brandy how's it going okay so First up to auction, these are 1991 football pitcher cards. Uh, these are Bowman. Um, they are made by the Topps Company. These have players like Thurman Thomas, um, Dan Marino. Um, we have the, pretty much anybody who played in 1991. <laughs> so these are going to be starting bid at $1. Do we have $1 for the Bowman unopened packs? And if you are the winning better on this, you can choose about how many of these packs you want to take. Um, so if you guys, you know, get the winning bid of the dollar, how many do you want? We have nine in total right now. So first uh, up for auction is these Bowman 1991 football pitcher cards. There's 14 pitcher cards in a pack. Um, like I said, there's Thurman Thomas, Dan Marino, John Elway. Um, oh, God. There's so many great, great names, great players uh, that are up on this. So... First, uh, first one right there. It's 19.91. We have one dollar. We're asking for unopened packs. Do we have a bid? Unopened packs. Give me a bid. Starting at a dollar. 19.91. Bowman's football pitcher cards. We'll give it a couple minutes. See what if anybody bids. One dollar. We got one dollar. Matthew Hunter. One dollar. Thanks, Matt. Appreciate that. Got one dollar. Do we hear two dollars? We have a dollar. We got two dollars, guys. Bowman's football pitcher cards. Unopened packs. John Elway, Thurman Thomas, Dan Marino. We got some big names in these packs. We got one dollar. Do we hear two dollars? We're going to go one dollar going once. One dollar going twice. Last chance, guys. Bowman's 1991 football pitcher cards. 14 pitcher cards in a pack. And we're going to go sold to Matt for one dollar. How many of these did you want, Matt? They're one dollar you bought them at, and we have nine in total. Wait for Matt to comment in there. Just you're aware you are about a full minute lag. Full minute lag? Okay. So Matt, you won these for a dollar. It depends on how many of these you want. Um, we have nine in total. So just let us know. I will take all nine. You'll take all nine? Awesome. Congratulations, man. So those are sold to Matt Hunter, and he's going to be a local pickup. I already know this guy. I know a guy. Okay, congratulations, man. That's awesome. So I'll set those off to the side. I think I actually have a box for him. Uh, we'll just put these right over here. Yep, there's the box right there. Okay, guys. Next, we have up to bid. Uh, let's see. We'll do some of these too. We'll just see if we can get these sold too. 
So these are the... What's up? You just pay now, is what he's asking. Uh... Pay can pay at the end of the auction. Uh, yes, Matt, you can pay within 24 hours of the auction. You can cash at me, PayPal. Uh, all the information's right off here. Uh, man, I always point the wrong way, too. <laughs> you gotta love having this... All the uh, PayPal, um, you have Cash App or Venmo, uh, depending on which one you want. You pay now, and I'll make sure you get them. So, yep. And here's what's next up to bid is a uh, score 1991 NHL cards. These are the English series. These have people like Wayne Gretzky. Um, they have uh, Bobby Orr, who's another uh, really famous hockey player from the early 90s. Um, so some great cards there. These packs are going to start at $1 for bidding. One dollar for the Hockey NHL 1991 scores cards. These are the English series. Series one. First bid, we're looking for a dollar. Unopened packs. It's got Wayne Gretzky cards, Bobby Orr. There's some special kind of uh, cards in here, too. They're different artwork, um, different things that started that year. Pretty cool. Says win a special Bobby Orr card inside C uh, details on the back. So these are factory sealed, still from 1991. Can we get a dollar? Yeah, my comment, my chat is way back and left behind. That's okay though. We got the time. So I made sure we put enough time in the auction because of the lag. Looking for a dollar in the 1991 Scores Series 1 cards with Wayne Gretzky and Bobby Orr, guys. I'm going to give it like two, three minutes, and if there's no bid, we're going to move on to another item. So I know there's people that want these Pokemon tins. And we'll get to the Star Wars stuff too. We're gonna kind of just split everything up a little bit, so nobody has to wait. You know. Yeah, you're better than a minute, Helen. Better than a minute. Yeah. Okay, guys, we're gonna we're gonna hold off on the NHL cards until a little bit later and see if uh, they start to sell then when we get some more people in here. So we're gonna move on because uh, we have not gotten an opening bid, so we're closing the uh, bidding on the NHL cards for now. What would you like next? Uh, I'm gonna grab one of those Pokemon tins actually. Let's just start with one of those because I know. I had some people message me about those. Now the larger tins are... Are they? Yeah. And then there's like some thicker ones. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to do the same thing. Oh, as your setup. Awesome. Yeah, just... They don't really stack well, but... Right. Okay, guys. So the next thing we're going to bring up to auction is these Pokemon tins, guys. I know a lot of people said that they were interested in these. These are 100, 100 random cards throughout uh, packs through all the way to 2016. Uh, there's 100 cards in the tin. There's either a coin, a holographic card, or a action figure that's in here. Hey, Cody. How's it going, man? Um, so that's how we're going to be doing these. Uh, these have 100, like I said, 100 cards. These card packs have not been gone through. This is just all random stuff. Uh, there's anywhere from Vivid Voltage, um, Battle Styles, Shining Fates. There's just random card decks in here. So this is the tin. It's going to be going up, and we're going to start the bidding at $10.00. Can we get $10 for the Pokemon tin of 100 cards, guys? $10 bid is what we're looking for. 100 cards plus either a holographic, um, a coin, or a statue that could be inside of here. So, guys, 100, uh, we're looking for a $10 bid. $10 bid, not $100. Don't worry. I ain't doing that. <laughs> but there are commons, um, uncommons, and rare cards in here. Starting bid, $10, guys. Thank you, Brandy. I appreciate it. Make an offer on the Pokemon cards, guys. Make an offer on the Pokemon cards. We're start looking for a starting bid of ten dollars. Hundred cards, and the tin is included. You guys do get the tin. These tins go for a couple dollars on online. I know that for a fact. So, good deal here for ten dollars, guys. Ten dollars. Start now that out. We're looking for a ten dollar bid. 
These are opened, but they have not been gone through. These are uh, the tins that I got the packs out of. I'm opening them, and these are just a bunch of random cards from different sets throughout the years. They have not been gone through. There's random stuff all through it. So, and they're all in here in a Ziploc bag sealed up with uh, either a coin, a figure, or a rare holographic card that's on there. We can always come back to these later. I know I have people that were definitely interested in these, so. I don't want to make everyone wait too long. Looking for a $10 bid, guys. $10 bid. Exactly. It's like a mystery box. Exactly. Plus, we're getting a 10. I mean, these 10s are really nice, too, so. go for uh let's look for a five dollar bid for these let's start about five dollars guys can we get a five dollar bid on the pokemon cards five dollars for the tins hundred cards just keep in mind you are running a full one minute lag yep got a bunch of cards here guys these way Almost, I think. Well, actually, I can tell you what they weigh right now. Exactly. It's a good idea to have this uh, scale array next to us. Let's see how much this one weighs. You're just over a pound and a half of cards in ten, uh, guys. That's it's a five dollar. We can start these bidding off at five dollars. Let's do that. Let's go with five dollars for a hundred cards and either a coin, collectible figure, or a holographic card. Looking for a $5 bid to begin. $5 bid, guys. $5 bid. And Matt says that's a hell of a deal. He's right. That is a hell of a deal. You know, they have things like this inside of uh, uh, Walgreens, and they come in a plastic sleeve, and they've already been gone through. Like, they'll take, like, the really, really expensive stuff out, and they'll seal them, and they'll resell them, and to buy just this without even the 10, you're looking at about $7.99 because you're only getting 100 cards, not getting the 10. So getting this for $5 is, is a pretty good deal. So... Right now, it doesn't look like anybody's interested in bidding for $5, so we're going to hold off on the Pokemon cards for a bit, I guess. We're going to hold off on those, and if somebody comes in and wants to start bidding on these, uh, hopefully they will mention them. That's the thing, guys. If you're looking for something, if you came for something in the chat and you're you're ready to bid, um, you know, just give us a message, and we'll, we'll see where, where it lies in the uh, whole thing here. So what do you think we should start with with Pops? You want to start with that? Yeah, let's try that. Okay, let's try this guy. Oh. And, okay. What was the starting bid on him? Okay. Okay, guys. Next up to bid is a 3-inch Imperials... Uh, wow, Emperor's Royal Guard. Wow, I can't even speak today. Perfect day to learn not how to speak English. Uh, <laughs> Emperor's Royal Guard 3-inch Star Wars Black Series figure. I don't know if there's a number on this, but there's not a number on this. A beginning bid is $5, guys. Did we get $5? Five dollars for the Emperor's Royal Guard three-inch figure. It comes with looks like another helmet, another style helmet, um, a shoulder piece, a pistol. Um, really cool looking little three-inch figure, guys. Can we get five dollars? Starting bid five dollars is what we're looking for. Now these are really highly collectible. If you like Star Wars movies, these definitely are. These are great. Star Wars and pops. Cody Dennis says that's what he's here for. Well, here you go, Cody. Five dollars. Five dollars. We're looking for with the Star Wars Emperor's Royal Guard for the three-inch figure. And the really nice thing a lot of people don't realize is how much detail they actually put into these. These uh, these all have like the fabric gowns and everything, and underneath they have the actual body pieces that it pretty much matches what it looks like in the movie. So, really nice figures. Really good detail. Looking for a five-dollar bid, guys. Five-dollar bid. there Mom helping you. Yep. Yep, she said she went from the other room, so. Looking for a five dollar bid on the Emperor's Royal Guard guys, black series figure, three inch figure. Still new in the box. Five dollar bid. We're looking for five dollar bid. Is 
guess I can always, uh, well, so we don't have dead time, I'll just read the back of this. There you go. Thanks, huh? Okay, so the Emperor's Royal Guard were the personal bodyguards and assassins of Sheev Palpatine. Uh, armed with force pikes and fully clad in their anonymous helmets and crimson, the Royal Guard were silent, imposing, and deadly. Five dollar bid for a Royal Deadly Assassin, guys. <laughs> You can always put them off to the side if we have to and continue on to more come stuff. Come on back. You can always come on back. That's what, that's what we can do with auctions. We can send them off to the side. And that's three minutes. Yep. Okay, guys. We're going to move on to another item. Set them off to the side. Uh, let's go with that. Yep. Okay. And we'll set him off to the side with uh, some stuff we'll and we'll figure that out. Him. We'll come back to him. Yeah, exactly. Okay, guys, we have up for bids a Stranger Things, number 546, Ghostbuster, Mike, and this is a pop vinyl, Stranger Things. So if you do guys have the, if you guys have this collection and you're missing them, it's a good thing to buy. We're going to start at a $10 bid, $10 bid on the Stranger Things, Ghostbuster, Mike, pop. Looking for a $10 bid, $10 bid. Working on my auctioneer's voice. It's working. Ten dollar bid, guys. Ten dollar bid. I don't believe these are in stores anymore either, so. If you're a fan of Stranger Things and Ghostbusters, this is kind of a twofer here. He's wearing the Ghostbusters flight jumpsuit, and it looks like he actually even has the proton pack on the back. Or it might be a vacuum cleaner, because, you know, all of us as kids couldn't build the, the proton pack, so we, we took... You know, mom's vacuum hose and put it in her backpack and <laughs> pretended to be Ghostbusters. Looking for a ten dollar bid, guys. Ten dollar bid. Five dollars where? Five dollars where? Stranger Things, Ghostbuster Mike. Seeing the Royal Guard. Are you? Yes, you're still at the Royal Guard. Okay, so you have a really bad delay. Mine doesn't. Mine's right on almost live, actually. Refresh, yeah, it might just need to be refreshed. Guys, if you're having a lag and uh, you've been sitting here watching me kind of just swing back and forth with this and it's lagging on you, I apologize. It's it's hard with the delay with, uh, with any social media platform right now with doing auctions. So, um,. We're making sure that we go for the bids. Cody Dennis at six. Is it? Are you saying six dollars, Cody, for this? Got a six dollar bid from Cody Dennis, I think. Yes. <laughs> yes, six dollar bid. Six dollar bid. Six dollars going once. Do we have seven dollars? Anybody have seven dollars? We're looking for seven dollars. We got a six dollar bid. Look for seven dollars. Six dollars going twice. Having to give it enough time because of the uh, one. We are uh, one minute lag, guys. One minute lag. We have a six dollar bid. We're looking for seven dollar bid. We're looking for a seven dollar bid. That's six dollars. We're looking for a seven dollar bid. That's one minute. Yep. Since the last bid. I'm gonna give each bid about two minutes because of the lags. We have one minute for the lag, one minute for somebody to make up their mind if they want to go a little bit further with the bid. So six dollar bid. We're looking for seven dollars. Seven dollars. See what we're doing on time. We got 419, 418. So by 420? Yeah, 420. That will be when. Six dollars, guys. We're looking for seven dollars. Seven dollars. We got a six dollar. We have six dollars going twice. Looking for a seven dollar bid. We got six dollars. $8 
And six dollars sold to Cody Dennis. You got the Ghostbusters Mike Funko Pop. Congratulations, Cody. Put this off to the side with also, uh, let's see, set that right there. Now that we've sold that, might as well get this guy up to bids. Okay, guys, this is another one that will go along with this collection. This is a Ghostbuster Lucas. We're going to start with a $5 bid there, $5 bid. Ghostbuster Lucas. Funko Pop. We just sold Mike, and now we have a Ghostbuster Lucas Funko Pop. Looking for a $5 bid, $5 bid where? Looking for a $5 bid with Ghostbuster Lucas. Ghostbuster Lucas, and he looks like he's got like almost a sawed-off shotgun kind of looking uh, gun for his uh, proton pack, which is kind of cool. Looks like actually it could be a pressure washer. Good old pressure washers. Looking for a six dollars from Cody Dennis. We got six dollar bid for uh, Stranger Things Ghostbuster Lucas. We got a six dollar bid. Six dollar bid. We're looking for seven dollars. Seven dollars. We got a six dollar bid. Six dollar bid. We're looking for seven. Six dollar bid. We're looking for seven dollars, guys. Seven dollars. Ghostbuster Lucas from Stranger Things. Pop Funko Pop. This is number five four eight of the Funko Pop series. Pop Television. They have pop games. They have pop television. Pop movies. They have. Pretty much anything you can pretty much imagine. You can actually customize a Funko Pop to look like yourself from the company, which is pretty cool. Oh, seven dollar bed in from Matt Hunter. We got a seven dollar bed. We're looking for eight dollars. Seven dollar bed. We're looking for eight dollars, guys. Matt Hunter in the lead for seven dollars. We're looking for eight dollars, guys. Eight dollar bed. Eight dollar bed. Matt coming in strong with the right hook. <laughs> Ooh, Cody Dennis with an eight dollar bid. We got an eight dollar bid for Ghostbuster Lucas. Eight dollars. We're looking for nine dollars, guys. Eight dollars. We're looking for nine dollars. And I've looked up the prices on these. These pops go for about twenty dollars a piece on eBay. So I mean, it's a good deal you guys are getting. So we got eight dollars. We're looking for nine dollars. Eight dollars. Looking for nine dollars, guys. Cody Dennis is in the lead with eight dollars. What's that? Yeah, I'm on it. <laughs> Yelling from the other room. Sorry about the lag, guys. I know it's taking a little bit of time. We got an $8 bed. We're looking for $9. Looking for $9. $8 going once. Got eight dollars looking for nine dollars, guys. Looking for nine dollars. Nine dollars. Got nine dollars from Matt Hunter. Okay, we got nine. We're looking for ten. We're looking for ten, guys. We got nine dollars looking for ten. So like twenty dollar pops, guys. Twenty dollar pops, and you're getting them for nine dollars. We're looking for a ten dollar bill. Ten dollar bill. That's what the diet Pepsi helps with for. It's all that sugar. Gets me getting on that auctioneer voice. <laughs> <laughs> got nine dollars, guys. We're looking for ten. Mafia Mike just hey, Mafia Mike has joined it. Hey, how's it going, man? So I know I called out Matt Hunter with uh, Hunter's Hybrid Gaming earlier. Now I'm gonna call out Mafia Mike, who is on Facebook Gaming as well. If you guys aren't already following him, make sure to go give him a like and a follow. Both video gamers from this area, both streamers, great guys. We got a nine dollar bid. Nine dollar bid for Matt. Going once. We got the Ghostbuster Lucas Funko Pop. We've got a $9 bid. It's a $20 pop online that I've seen for, so we've got a $9 bid. We're looking for a $10 bill, guys. $10 bill. Oh, is it that much of a delay on your phone? Yes. Wow, that's insane. Got a $9 bid. 
Nine dollar bid. Look for ten. Nine dollar going twice. Nine dollar bid going twice. Do we have a ten dollar bid anywhere? Ten dollar bid. We got nine going twice. And we're going to go sold three times. Winner is Matt Hunter for $9 for the Stranger Things Ghostbuster Lucas. Guys, Matt, I'll put this in your box. Congratulations. Okay, let's bring out... What do you think? What do you got over there? Sure, that sounds good. What do we want to start them off at? Okay. Okay, guys. Next up to bid. <laughs> Congratulations, Matt. Is the Star Wars Black Series Finn. This is the number nine Starkiller base set. Now, this does have a backdrop. I'll let you guys see it right here. This is the Star Wars set here from Black Series number nine Finn. And here we go, guys. Starting bid is $5. $5 for this. Starting bid is $5. This is the Finn, and it is the Titanium Series, guys. Titanium Series. Retails for $25. Retails for $25. We're asking $5 bid, guys. $5 bid. In this set, there is Finn, there is Ray, Kylo Ren, uh, and we have Captain Phasma. This is just one of them. This is Finn here. Uh, it's got the backdrop and a really nice stand. He's got an extra gun in there. So, guys, we're looking for a $5 bet. These are a $25 Black Series. Um, these are the Titanium Series, guys. This is totally worth it. $5 bet. If you're a Star Wars fan, you cannot refuse at this price. It's it's good price. Starting at a $5 bet. Looking for a $5 bet, guys. Mafia Mike, $5. Mafia Mike at $5. There we go. We got $5 bet, guys. $5 bet. Okay, we get $6. $6, guys. This is, like I said, this is a $25 uh, figure right here. You know, this is a, it's a good price. We're looking for a $6 bid. We got a $5 bid. Star Wars Titanium Series, guys. This is the Black Series. This is the Finn, and it's got an extra gun. He's got a nice little stand. It's a great little piece. We got a $5 bid. We're looking for a $6 bid, guys. $6 bid. Got a $5 bid. Looking for a $6 bid, guys. $5 bid. Looking for a $6 bid. Yeah, the reason I'm waiting so long on that is because if your phone's lagging that much, that means everybody else is, and they're just starting to see this now. But some people are, you know, like Mike saw it right almost off the bat, too. So that means that there might be some people that want to bid on this that uh, might be back a little bit. This is a full minute lag on my phone. Full minute lag on your phone? Okay. Okay, guys, we're going to go with a $5 bid going once. Some people's phones are lagging. It's going a little bit longer, so that's why we're taking enough time so everybody gets a chance to bid, guys. Um, so that's that's what we're doing right now. So that's why it's taking a little bit longer. $5 bid is going once, guys. We're looking for $6. $6. This is a $25 Star Wars figure, guys. That's what it goes for right now. So this is a good bid. He's got a bid at $5. We're looking for $6, guys. $6. We got five dollars going twice. We're looking for a six dollar bill, guys. Six dollar bill. Come on. Is there even a six dollar bill? There's not a six dollar bill. We're looking for six dollars. <laughs> no, but you can have two three dollar bills. Can you? We got three two dollar bills. Go. We got five dollars. It has gone twice, guys. We're looking for a six dollar bid, guys. Six dollar bid. Just got the five on my feet, so. Yep. You're a full minute behind. Full minute behind, okay. So we're going to end the bidding at 431. Or should we go 430? 430. 430. $5 bid, guys. We're looking for $6, guys. $6. We got a $5 bid. We're looking for $6.
And sold to Mike, Mafia Mike. Congratulations, Mike. I will be delivering that to you tomorrow. And make sure on that paper that you write down what, your stuff that's sold. And we will make sure that uh, yep. that gets brought to you. Congratulations, Mike. Five dollars. You want it. Uh, let's see. Go the box of cards? Yeah, I think that might be a good deal. We'll do the, uh, the random box of cards. Like, just all these cards. Okay, guys, the next one up for... This is this is crazy. Now, I'm going to weigh this in front of you guys. But I'm going to show you. There's just a a huge amount of cards that are in this. And I know you can see it right from there. Woo -hoo -hoo! More than two. Uh, more than two, yeah. There's probably... I'm going to say close to 500. And there's cards in here from Tops, All different eras. I have not gone through this. This is a box that I bought. And I just was like... You know what? If you are somebody who sells cards or looks for collectible cards, this is definitely the lot that you guys want to bid on. Let me put this up on the scale so you guys can you really know how many cards you're actually bidding on, guys. Okay, I'm going to weigh this thing. Let's see. Oh my god, it doesn't fit on the scale. <laughs> Twelve and a half pounds of cards, guys. That's a lot of cards. That's a lot of cards. Twelve and a half pounds of baseball. I think there's... I, you know, I can look to see if there's football or anything. I know we have baseball. I see a lot of baseball in here. So if you are a baseball fanatic, this is this is. Oh, there's hockey. I just saw some hockey. There's some football. I believe in here, but I'm not. Don't. Oh, there is football. So baseball, football, and hockey. Twelve pounds of cards, guys, in this box. Starting bid is twenty dollars, guys. Can we get a twenty dollar bill? That's all we're looking for. Twenty dollars. I don't know what's in this box, guys. You could have way more than twenty dollars. If you think you got five hundred cards in here. And you sell them at a dollar a piece, you got five hundred dollars. Now I'm not saying that's gonna happen, but even if you sell them at fifty cents a piece, you're gonna make your money back. Twenty dollars, guys. That one collectible card you're looking for is yeah, in there. Yeah, exactly. Twenty dollar bid for the large lot of twelve and a half pounds of Pokemon or of uh, baseball, football, and hockey cards. There are no Pokemon cards in this. This is all sports cards, guys. Twelve and a half pounds. Twenty dollars we're looking for, guys. Twenty dollars for the box. Twenty dollars for the box. Sample a couple cards out. Yeah, I can do that. We can sample a couple cards out so you guys can see what's in here, what kind of cards are in here, um, and I'll even tell you the years that are on the back of them. Uh, here we go. We got a Topps White Sox Tom McCarthy card from so what year? 1979, guys. So there's a 1970s card in here, and then it goes all the way up here. We got an Upper Deck. There's some Upper Deck cards in here. Um, let's see. $20 from Matt Hunter. We got a $20 bid, guys. We're looking for $25. Let's go for $25. Got $20. We're looking for $25. You pulled retails for $3. So, and there's two of them. And there's two of them in here. There's two of them. There you yeah, go. Yeah, so this card, this card that I just pulled, these both retail for $3. So that's $6 just in those two cards. And there's, like I said, 500 cards. We got a $20 bid. Guys, can we get $25 bid? Uh, and here's some, here's some more dates on these cards, guys. Let me give you another date. Um, 1992, and this is Tops Upper Deck. Got a twenty dollar bid. We're looking for twenty five. Can give me twenty five dollars. Twenty five dollars where, guys? And this is just upper deck. Let me take a look through, and I'll tell you other stuff that's in here. Uh, here's another card from a different year. This has got to be like eighties or something. Uh, let's see, eighty eight. This is nineteen eighty eight cards here. Uh, there's cards like all from you know thirty years back. I don't know what's in here. I have looked through stuff. This is just a random box that I bought. So guys, we got a twenty dollar bid. We're looking for a twenty five dollar bid. Can we get twenty? Let's twenty one dollar bid. Let's see if we got anybody with a twenty one dollar bid. Giving it away. Pretty much giving it away. That's a steal. That is a steal. That is a steal. That is over five hundred cards. That is twelve and a half pounds of baseball, football, hockey. Just a bunch of cards in there. Twenty dollars is a great deal. We got twenty dollars going once. Did they just tell them to wait on your phone? Yep. That's more than a minute. That's a huge lag. Wow. Okay, you just started sampling on the, on this video. Yeah. We're going to end the bidding for this at 4.36 because there are some people that are lagging on the video. Um, and I want to make sure everybody gets on there. They're 12 and a half pounds of cards. We got a winning bid right now of twenty dollars, and it's already high gone bid. once. A high bid. Not a winning bid. A high bid. 
A high bid, yes. Sorry. Not a winning bid, a high bid. Thank you. That's why I have this guy here. He's the brains of the operation. Yeah, no brains here. I've been told I have the face for radio. There you go. I believe it. That's true. <laughs> Okay, like I said, we're gonna go to four thirty-six. We got twenty dollars going twice. One minute remaining. Mm-hmm. Guys, you got twelve and a half pounds of cards, baseball cards, football cards, hockey cards. I don't know what they're worth. They just been sitting in that box. We got twenty dollars. We're looking for a twenty-one dollar bid. Twenty-one dollar bid, guys. Twenty-one dollar bid. Twelve and a half pounds of baseball football cards going back to nineteen seventy-nine is what I've seen as the oldest so far in there. sampling of five cards off the top. Yeah, and there was what? Like almost $10 worth of cards in there? Yep. From just, just the top? Pulled out. That's going to get a good deal. If nobody bids $21. Oh, and it's four thirty-six. That's it. $20 sold to Matt Hunter. Congratulations, Matt. You got 12 and a half pounds of football, baseball, and hockey cards. $20. Matt's got his own pile over here. That's Mike, and this is Cody's, so I'm not sure I'll keep those. Congratulations, sold to Matt Hunter. Let's bring up one of those uh, Vader shower heads. Darth Vader shower Yeah. Head. How much were we starting those at? $10. $10. Retail for $40. Really? Okay, nice. Oh, wow, this has amplified technology plus oxygen infused water. Okay. Sounds like Feature you're getting clean. Featuring multiple oxygenetic en engines? Wow. So, like, kind of purifies it a little bit too that's kind of cool okay guys next up to bid you know i'm loving that exactly matt's like i can make some money matt is a card collector i know that, that man he'll he'll get his money's worth okay guys we got a star wars darth vader head these retail for 40 dollars. we are looking for a 10 dollar bid 10 dollar bid who wants vader in their shower <laughs> that would be cody dennis that would be cody dennis come on cody dennis we know that you're still watching we also got mafia mike everybody i know is a star wars fan Everybody's darth a star wars fan. you gotta have a and, and Mike's moving into a new apartment, so I mean, he's gonna have a, he needs a nice new shower head. Exactly. We got a Darth Vader shower head at ten dollar bid. We're looking for a ten dollar bid, guys. These retail for forty dollars. This is a ten dollar bid. We're looking for a ten dollar bid, guys. It's a pretty good deal. That's a very good deal. Twenty five percent with the bill. Yeah, and they have a nice handle too with them, and they have a holder. They got the hose with it. Pretty much, you just hook it up and go. And uh, and no tools. You know, the only thing this is missing because it has the water coming out of his eyes is him, like, crying Padme or crying no. It no. <laughs> just, no, <laughs> while the water pours out. Looking for a $10 bed, guys. These are a $40 shower head. These are really nice. This isn't just something that they made cheap to look like Darth Vader. Cody Dennis with a $10 bed. We got a $10 bed from Cody Dennis. We're looking for an $11 bed. $11 bed, guys. It's got oxygen, um, it's got, I think, a couple different settings for your, um, that's pretty cool. It's got a couple different settings for, uh, how it sprays. Three settings, yep, and it's can go anywhere from wide to narrow, guys. Wide to narrow, so that is a looking for an eleven dollar bid. We got a ten dollar bid for a Darth Vader shower head. Uh, it says it comes with a Darth Vader handheld shower head, one holder, seventy two inch hose, and plumber's tape, guys. Plumber's tape. You probably can't even get plumber's tape for ten dollars. It's a dollar roll. Is it a dollar roll? <laughs> we got Matt Hunter at $11. $11 bid. We got $11 bid. We're looking for a $12 bid, guys. $12 bid. Looking for a $12 bid. Vader in the shower. Here we go. Comfort level. Okay, wow. This is really nice. You need one for yourself. I have one. I set one off to the side. Oh, you said no. I wanted one of these. Are you kidding me? This is absolutely awesome. Twelve dollar bid from Cody Dennis. We got a twelve dollar bid. We got a twelve dollar bid. We're looking for thirteen dollar bid, guys. These are a forty dollar shower head. This is a Darth Vader shower head. I mean, you can't. It's pretty awesome, honestly. Pretty insane. That's pretty cool. So we got a twelve dollar bid. We're looking for a thirteen dollar bid. Thirteen dollar bid. Thirteen where? Thirteen dollar bid from Matt. Thirteen dollar bid from Matt. And there we go. Matt's got the thirteen dollar bid. Thirteen dollars, guys. We're looking for fourteen dollars. Fourteen dollars for this forty dollar Darth Vader shower head. We got a thirteen dollar bid. We're looking for fourteen dollars. Fourteen dollars where? Fourteen dollars from Cody Dennis. We got a fourteen dollar bid, guys. Fourteen dollar bid. Can we get a fifteen dollar bid? This is a forty dollar. Like I said, a forty dollar uh, shower head. Really nice Darth Vader. It is a great fifteen dollar bid. Fifteen dollar bid. We need sixteen dollars where, guys? Sixteen dollars where? We need a sixteen dollar bid. We got a fifteen dollar bid. 
Looking for 16 for the Darth Vader showerhead, guys. Darth Vader will be watching you in the shower. <laughs> yes, the Force will be with you, <laughs> always. It'll be the dark side. It's lagging, so give Yeah, I'm giving them some time and stuff, because the lag, he's been telling me to. Yeah, I'm we got watching it. It's real laggy. Yeah. Got a $15 bed. We're looking for a $16 bed for it. This is, like I said, $40 shower head. We're looking for a $16 uh, bed. 15 going once. Specializes in washing your dark side. <laughs> oh my god. That should be on the right. Dan says it specializes on washing your dark side. That is hilarious. Why is that not on the box? They had a missed opportunity. <laughs> we got a $15 bed. We're looking for a $16 bed, guys. We got a $15 bed. We're looking for a $16 bed. Okay, when was the last bid came in at 439 so 439 so the bidding's going to be closed at 441 and it's 441 okay four so we got fifteen dollars going twice it's gonna give him a couple more seconds fifteen dollars going twice you know what i think that's and sold matt hunter for fifteen dollars we got the darth vader shower head Put that over there. Jeez, Matt. There you go, man. Pretty much, I'm going to have to give you your own table. Okay. You know what? Next, we'll bring up for auction. As I'm going to I'm gonna bring this up. I was hoping we'd get a couple more people in here, but you know what? I'm thinking we'll bring it up and if nobody bids on it, because this does have a reserve bid, guys. This has a reserve bid for $100, guys. The reserve bid is for $100. This is a Frank Thomas The Hurt Autograph Baseball Bats from the White Sox. These retail from anywhere from $250 up to $300. We're looking for a $100 bid, guys. $100 bid. We're starting right at the area where I was. That's where the reserve is. So $100 bid, guys. $100 bid. Like I said, this has a certificate of authenticity from Leaf, Auth uh, Leaf Authentic Certificate of Authenticity. It's got a serial number. You can look it right up, on, up online. Like I said, I have done some research on these bats. They go for about two fifty to three hundred dollars on eBay. I've seen them go up for. Uh, we're looking for a hundred dollar bid, guys. Hundred dollar wear. This is a Rawlings black bat. It's got. Uh, he used a silver permanent marker autographed right here. Um, this is a Rawlings Pro bat. Really nice. It comes with a case and everything. And this is, like I said, Frank Thomas the Hurt, who plays for the White Sox. Looking for a hundred dollar bid, guys. Hundred dollars wear. We'll give it a little bit of time, and we're going to close this uh, bids at 4:45. Is when we're going to stop this one. Okay, hundred dollars where guys, hundred dollars where, hundred dollars on the autographed White Sox Frank Thomas the Hurt baseball bat by Leaf Authentics. Star Wars is more popular than baseball. It's true. It's true. It's a nice bat, though, man. I'm telling you, like, I've done my research on them, and these these were uh, looted by Leaf Authentics. They actually had him come over and sign them, and they were sitting there while he was signing it. And he's actually uh, just started doing some commercials again. I think he actually works on one of the sports centers, I believe. So his name's still out there. Looking for a hundred dollar bid, guys. Like I said, this bat goes for anywhere from two fifty to three hundred is what I've seen it go for. Hundred dollar bid. I have a full two minute lag. Yeah. Yeah, we're still doing the shower head. Try refreshing your YouTube. Because on mine we're live, like, and it's not just because. Sometimes the live, if you pause it or it lags, it won't keep up. It will lag off like 10 minutes. This auction is going to be closed in one minute, guys. We've got a $100 bid is what we're looking for. That is the lowest that this can go for. If anybody is here who's watching, who's looking for the Pokemon cards, let us know that you're here for the Pokemon cards. Let us know what you guys are here to bid on, and we'll bring it up, and we'll start doing the bidding on it. Just let us know, guys. I think I'm going to do that big one next. I think that's going to be a popular one. 
Like I said, this bat has retailed for over 250 is what I've seen to go for. It's gone upwards of 300 right around between that area. We're looking for a $100 bid, guys. So autograph, Major League Baseball player, guys. Frank Thomas the Hurt. Um, you know, this has got Certificate of Authenticity. It's got the serial number. This is from a company called Leaf Authentics. We are looking for a $100 bid starting out. It's like I said, this is a $250 bat. That is what it's gone for. Looking for a $100 bid, guys. $100 bid where? We're going to be closing this bit auction down in one minute, guys. It's been up for three minutes. We don't want to keep things up too long because we want to move on to things that other people are going to want to bid on. So if you guys are interested in this, come on and bid. $100 bid is what we're looking for. Four forty-six is when it's going to be closed down. And that's okay. Four forty-six. Okay, guys, this auction is closed for this one. That's okay. Okay, guys, we're going to bring out a big hitter, or I mean, a little hitter. Here he is. This is a giant pop, Funko Pop. This is number three sixty-nine. The Child. This is before even Grogu was known as his actual name. Um, this has got a collection. Man, if I had the Cara Dune, that would be nice, wouldn't it? The Cara Dune of this. Okay, guys. This is a giant... Uh, what is this? Six inch? Or is this even bigger? No, it's bigger. That's bigger than a six inch. I'm trying to remember the measurements on this sucker. He's a big boy. Well, I'm going to let you guys know what the starting bid for this is. The starting bid for The Child is $30. We're looking for a $30 bid, guys. $30 bid. I'm going to weigh him to let you know how much The Child weighs. Depends on if he, uh, he's eating a frog or not. The Big Hurt. Oh, it's The Big Hurt. That's right. Mike corrected me. It's not The Hurt. It's The Big Hurt. For the, the name of Frank Thomas. Let's weigh The Child real quick. How much does this guy weigh? Yeah, I was going to say, this is a big Funko Pop. Funko Pops usually weigh a pound. This guy is seven pounds. He's been eating his frogs. <laughs> okay, guys, looking for a $30 bid on the Child Funko Pop. $30 bid. Look for a $30 bid. He is a seven-pound pop. He is pretty much the size, almost the actual size of the Child in the show. We got a $30 bid. <laughs> we have a $30 bid. We're looking for a $31 bid. You guys, we got a $31 bid. We have $30. We're looking for $31. It's a big old child, guys. You know anybody who's a Star Wars fan, he is a good one to have. Look for a $30 bid, guys. We're looking for $31. We have a $30 bid. $31. When did he put that in? Let's see. Four. Okay, so this bidding will be closed at 450. We're gonna go 450 with it. 450, guys. So we got a $30 bid. We're looking for a $31 bid. $30 bid. We're looking for $31, guys. Come on, look at those eyes. Tell me they aren't creepy. Did you feed them after midnight? $30 bid. We're looking for $31. $31 bid. He is a 10 inch pop. He is a 10 inch Funko Pop. Weighs seven pounds. We have a $30 bid. We're looking for $31, guys. We have a $30 bid. We're looking for $31. We got $30 going once. Currently retailing for $65. Yep, he's currently retailing for $65, guys. $65 for this guy, usually. We got a $30 bid. We're looking for $31, guys. $31. We got a $30 bid. $30 bid going twice. Seven pounds, 10 inch figure. A big old Funko Pop, guys. Got a $30. Several bid. on eBay for $100. Yeah, they even are on eBay for $100, like you said. These are, they only had one left when I got to the store, so I was lucky to get one. They're selling out pretty hot, guys. We got a $30 bid. We're looking for $31, guys. $30 bid, looking for $31. We have $30 going twice already. We're looking for $31. It closes down in one minute for this auction. $31. Looking for a $31 bid, guys. This is a 7-pound, 10-inch Funko Pop of the child from The Mandalorian. 
We have less than a minute left. And there it is. $30 sold. Yay! <laughs> Your child, sir. <laughs> We'll get these out because I know that these are these are something that these guys will be interested in. Okay, guys, up for bids next is another Funko Pop. This is a Pokemon Funko Pop. This is Eevee number eight or number six two six. No, this is not Stitch from Lilo and Stitch. Okay, guys, this is Eevee from Pokemon. We are gonna start her off at a ten dollar bid. Ten dollar bid for an Eevee Pop, guys. Ten dollar bid. We're looking for ten dollars. Now, like I said, some of these don't have reserves, so if I don't say it has a reserve, give me a bid. Give me a bid of what you're wanting to pay, and we'll start there. $10 bid for Eevee. $10 bid for Eevee. Eevee Funko Pop, guys. $10 where? Yeah, I think we have a very bad delay, too. Well, I'm holding up Eevee, but on your phone, I'm listening to your phone, and if and people are getting... still on, yeah, we're still on the child. Still on the child? And I've refreshed it twice. So that's what I'm going to do, is I'm going to start doing it on certain minutes. So when I started this, we ended at 551, which it's still 551, so this will be going to 555. Give, you know, we'll give it enough time with the lag, and so each one of these will go for that. So we're looking for a $10 bid, guys. We're looking for a $10 bid. Or an offer bid. Start them off. Start me off, guys. Start me off. EV Funko Pop, guys. I could make it interesting combine these two. You think that might be a good idea? Let's do it. Yeah? Okay. Getting crazy on there. Okay, let's go. <laughs> All right. Okay, guys. We're going to not just do the one EV Funko Pop. We're going to throw in this just was released. There were pre orders. There were only a certain amount of these sent. We have a Mew Funko Pop vinyl. There's only three in the set. There's 643, which is Mew. There is 644 that is Ponita. And 645 that is Raichu. This is the Mew Funko Pop. $10 from Mafia Mike. $10 from Mafia Mike. Okay, so is that ten dollars for? Ten dollars gets them both figures. Okay, ten dollars gets you both finger figures, Mike. We got a ten dollar bid for these two pops. Ten dollar bid. Ten dollar bid for Evie and Mew. Ten dollar bid, guys. Ten dollar bid. Can we get twelve dollars? We're gonna go up by two dollars increments with these. Uh, we got it. We're looking for. We got a ten dollar bid. We're looking for a twelve dollar bid. There are two Funko pops in this, guys. We're getting an Evie and a Mew. We got a ten dollar bid. We're looking for twelve dollars. Twelve dollars where? Now that we had the CV in and we had the first bid at 452, we're gonna go on to 457 with this. 457 is where we're gonna to go to. We got a $10 bid, we're looking for a $12 bid, guys. $12 where? These both retail for at least $10. So I mean I mean I think the Mew actually goes for up to $20 now because he just came out. So you got almost $30 worth of uh, Funko Pops here. We got a $10 bid, we're looking for a $12 bid, guys. Got a $10 bid, we're looking for $12. We got $12 bid from Cody Dennis. $12, we're looking for $14, guys. $14 where? $14 where? We got $12, we're looking for $14 where? We got an EV and a Mew Pop. We got a $12 bid, we're looking for $14. $14, guys. These are great Funko Pops, guys. Great collection. EV is always a favorite, and so is Mew. We got a... $15 bid from Mafia Mike. We got a $15 bid. $15 bid. Let's look for a $17 bid. $17 bid. $15 bid will not even cover both of those pops. Uh, Mew is currently on Amazon for $19.95. Mew goes for $20, and how much does go to Eevee go for? Let me go back and find Eevee. Yeah, so this one by itself goes for $20. We got a $15 bid. We're looking for $17, guys. Somebody's getting a deal. Somebody's getting a good deal at this Got a $20 pop here, and then we got this is usually, I think these are about $5 to $10. So we got about a $30 thing. We got $15. $15 going once. We're looking for a $17 bid, guys. $17 bid. We got $15. We're looking for $17. Which number EV is that? Uh, number 626. 
is on eBay right now for $19. Okay, there it is. So Evie actually goes for $20 as well. So this is $40 a pop. He's getting it for $15. We're looking for $17. Can we get a $17 bid? We got a $17 bid, guys. We're looking. We need uh, $17. We got a $15 bid. We're looking for $17. The lowest price I see on here for Evie is $12. Yep. So you're still well below the value. Yeah. Well below half the value for the two figures. Yep. Like I said, we're gonna go to four fifty eight with this. We're at four fifty five. We got it's already fifteen dollars going once. Going to four fifty eight with this guys. Four fifty eight. That's where we're gonna end this whole thing with uh, the E V and the Mew. We have a fifteen dollar bid, we're looking for a seventeen dollar bid, guys. These are forty dollars together if you bought them online. So seventeen dollars is not too much. Let's look for a seventeen dollar bid. We got a fifteen dollar bid, look for a seventeen dollar bid. 15, looking for 17. Got a $15 bid. We're looking for a $17 bid, guys. $15, looking for 17. Funko Pops, number 626, Eevee, and 643, Mew. These are great. These are really, really nice pops, to be 100% honest. So these are two of the favorite Pokemon that you'll see. Uh, technically, I think they would both be Kanto starters, too. I mean, even though... I think Mew might have came right after Kanto, but got a fifteen dollar bid. Got a fifteen dollar bid. We're looking for seventeen. Yeah, we're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna go going twice at fifteen dollars. Going twice at fifteen dollars. We're looking for a seventeen dollar bid. We'll look for a sixteen dollar bid. We'll go up by one dollar in commencement now because we um, brought both of these in. Can we get a sixteen dollar bid? Sixteen dollar bid, guys. Sixteen dollar bid. We got fifteen. This is a forty dollars worth of pops right here, guys. $40 retail. We got a $15 bid. We're looking for $16. We're looking for $16. We got a $15 bid. We're looking for $16. dollars we We're going to be ending it in less than a minute. We got a $15 bid. We're looking for $16 for these $40 worth of pops right here, guys. They retail for... $15 bid. We're looking for $16, guys. $15 bid. We're looking for $16, guys. $16. It's going to be ending here in less than a minute. This is $40 worth of pops, guys. Got a $15 bid. We're looking for $16. And sold to Mafia Mike at $15. Congratulations, Mike. You got one hell of a deal. Excellent deal for Mafia Mike. Excellent deal for Mafia Mike. Those are Mats, Mats, Mats. Uh, that's Cody Dennis's. And I believe that one is Mike. Mike has a Star Wars, right? The Finn? Um, Finn? Should be Mafia Mike. Is Mafia Mike. Okay, cool. So he's got his pile there. Congratulations, Mike. You won that $15. Do that one right there. Get rid of that. This poke. Oh, this thing here? Yep. Okay. Get that up quick. Uh, I did look up for these go for. Starting okay. Okay, guys. Up for beds next. I know that we have. Oh, I even have a delay on my screen now. Wow. That's weird when that happens when you get a delay on your own screen. That's crazy. Okay, guys. We're going to move on to the next item. See, it's not delayed on there. Wow, it's crazy. Okay, guys. Well, we'll just move on. He'll catch up eventually. 24 karat gold plated precious metal series. This is the Cartoon Network NASCAR uh, card number 9. Uh, collect, uh, collect matching platinum issue members. Serial numbers on stand. So there's a serial number on here. Starting bid is $1, guys. This is a 24 karat gold Cartoon Network car. Still in the package. It is of uh, between 1989 and 1999. It's the 10 years racing champion car, guys. Number 9 Cartoon Network's gold plated. 24 karat gold. Gold plated. Starting bid, $1, guys. Do we have a $1 bid on the NASCAR? Let's 
Looking for a $1 bid, guys. $1 bid on a 24 karat gold NASCAR number 9 Cartoon Network. It's got Dexter's Laboratory on it. That's pretty cool. This is back. This is an iconic little car piece. That's pretty cool. Tw We're looking for a $1 bid, guys. $1 bid. Give him a home. Come on. $1. It's gold. Come on. <laughs> There's gold in there. Here. 24 karat gold plated. One dollar bid, guys. There's more than a dollar worth of gold in it. That's true. We got a two dollar bid from my mother. Okay, two dollar bid from my mother. <laughs> it's probably from my dad. There you he go. collects NASCAR. Okay, we got a two dollar bid. We're only gonna go to five oh two on this, guys. Five oh two. So we got a two dollar bid. Two dollar bid. Looking for a three dollar bid. Does anybody want it for three dollars? Twenty four karat gold plated number nine Cartoon Network. NASCAR number nine. It's got Dexter's the Laboratory on it. Let's see what else it has on it. Looks like it's just got the whole Dexter's Laboratory scenes on it. Pretty cool. We got a two dollar bid. We're just going to five oh two. We got a two dollar bid looking for a three dollar bid. We got a two dollar bid looking for a three dollar bid. Two dollars. Let me see your phone. I just refreshed it. You just refreshed it? Just refreshed it. And that's where it's at. Okay, I'm going to bring this out to her. So, it's a six minute lag. That's terrible. See, it's not a six minute lag on my phone. Yeah. It's not it just being seen. my service. Yeah. Okay, guys. Got less than a minute left on this. We got a two dollar bid. We're looking for three dollars. Twenty four karat gold. Cartoon Network number nine. NASCAR. A little die cast car guys. Got a two dollar bid. Looking for a three dollar bid. Two dollars looking for a three dollar bid. Two dollars going once. Two dollars going twice. And that is sold. Let's bring that out to her. Thank you, Debbie. Hers is a 30 second lag. That's not bad. Yeah. So there's some people that have a little bit more lag. Um, Let's do that one. Okay. Yeah. And you do mention the top of the box. Yep. And how much were we looking for this? Okay. Okay, guys. Next up to auction is a Ray. This is a Star Wars Forces of Destiny Ray, and it also has a BB-8 in there. Her lightsaber, um, Ray of Jaka, and BB-8. This is, is this a Barbie or is this just like a just a Star Wars Hasbro series? Yes. Okay, so it's a Star a Star Wars Hasbro series. It's been less than a minute delay for me. Thank you, Matt, for telling me that. I appreciate that, guys. There is a little bit of a hole punctured up over here. Um, I know that can be an issue for some people, but I mean, still, this thing is like in pristine condition in the inside. So we're looking for a five dollar bid, guys. This is a Star Wars Force Forces of Destiny with a BB-8 lightsaber. Apparently, when you squeeze her legs together, she swings the lightsaber. So, it's a $5 bid. Where, guys? $5 bid for this really nice Star Wars Forces of Destiny Re in BB-8. Looking for a $5 bid, guys. $5 bid. Got a kid who loves Star Wars. This would be something great for them. Be a toy they could take right out of the package and play with them. It's not, it doesn't even need to be a collectible. This is a... Nice little Star Wars toy for them. We got BB-8. We got the uh, lightsaber. She's even got her gun on her side. We're looking for a $5 bid on Star Wars Forces of Destiny. Ray of Jaffa and BB-8. $5 bid where, guys? $5 bid. Perfect for someone who recently got engaged. That's $5 bid from Cody Dunst. <laughs> Got a five dollar bid. We're looking for a six dollar bid. We're looking to got a got a five dollar bid. We're looking for a six dollar bid. Let me read you guys what this says on the back. Ray always stands up for what she believes in, and BB-8 is a festy or feisty feisty loyal droid that sticks together in their adventures. Look at that. We got a five dollar bid. We're looking for a six dollar bid. We're gonna end this auction at five oh six. So we got a five dollar bid. We're looking for a six dollar bid. Five dollar bid. We're looking for a six dollar bid. 
This figure, I believe, is how tall do you think? What, 8 inches, 10 inches? Ten inch bit. Okay, so this is a ten inch figure of Ray, and then you got your little uh, BB-8 over here on the side. We got a five dollar bid. We're looking for a six dollar bid. We got a five dollar bid. We're looking for a six dollar bid. And I said this was gonna end at five oh six. We got five dollar bid going once. One minute. Really. We got a five dollar bid going once, guys. We got five dollars looking for six dollars. This is a ten inch figure of Ray with a BB-8 and lightsaber. It's a really nice little doll. Especially if you have a kid that loves Star Wars, guys. $5 bid, we're going for a look for a $6 bid. We got $5 going twice. $5 going twice, guys. We got $5 bid, we're looking for a $6 bid. $5 looking for For a six dollar bid, we got a five dollar bid, guys. We're looking for a six dollar bid. And sold five dollars to Cody Dennis. Yay, Cody! Yay, Cody! Okay, so this is Cody's stuff up here. Okay, and hopefully Mafia Mike's still in there because we got a boy's hat, glove, and scarf set. This is a Star Wars. And what are we starting this at? Okay. Okay, guys. So this retails for nine, uh, for ten to fifteen dollars, guys. This is a Star Wars. Uh, this has got text with your gloves. Oh wow! So this is like. Is it sad when they have that for kids? You can text with these gloves. It's one size fits all, so it will. Fit is it one size fits? Oh, if one size fits most. Yes. But I feel like that would fit my head. And you've got a fat head. Uh, thank you. Okay, we're looking for a $5 bid with this Star Wars uh, boys hat and gloves and scarf set. One size fits most. We got, we're looking for a $5 bid. These are all brand new. They're really nice, guys. They got an X wing on the front. Uh, you have X wings on the gloves. And it, even the scarf uh, says Rebel. I think it says Rebel Pilot. Guys, we're looking for a $5 bid, guys. $5 bid. That five dollars was from Cody's last one, so yeah. yeah. But Cody needs one of these too. Yes, Cody needs one of these. All all my friends need one of these. Guys, we got a five dollar bid. We're looking for a five dollar bid for this five dollar bid. I can see Mike wearing those. Oh yeah, he would totally rock this. Yep. Oh cool, and actually, fun fact: uh, the hat is actually a rebel helmet. So it's designed. It's got the goggles. It's got like you know the stripe coming up the middle, the two red dots. Guys, we got a rebel. Helmet hat. So we're looking for five dollars. You got a scarf, gloves, and hat. Five dollar bid wear, guys. Five dollar bid wear. Perfect for the summer. Perfect for the summer. Yes. On Hoff. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Five oh eight. We're gonna end this at five. Uh, five eleven. We're gonna end this at five eleven. Give it some time. Okay, guys. Five dollar bid wear. Where we're we gonna get this for five dollars, guys. Five dollars. I mean, even on the back it says retails for nine ninety seven. And you can't get these in stores anymore, I don't believe. So you got to go online. So that means it goes up. Cody <laughs> Dennis says he has one. So his, so his your, lovely lady doesn't have your one. Your fiance needs one, Cody, so you guys can match. So $5 where, Cody? <laughs> Looking for a $5 bid, guys. This is a really cool gift for anybody, uh, you know, who loves Star Wars. So if you guys are... And it's new. And it's new. They're all new. These aren't used. These still got the tags on them and everything. Like I said... Five dollar bid, guys. Five dollar bid. That's all we're looking for right now. Five dollar bid. Where? Looking for a five dollar bid, guys. You're getting gloves, hats, and a scarf. Jeez, if one of these are left over, I'll buy one for five dollars. These are nice. These are nice, man. They, they're actually pretty thick too. That's the thing. You either have it's almost like the perfect um, consistency, in, like with it. Because either you have ones that are too thick that make your head sweat, or you have them that are too thin that don't make your head warm enough. And this is like that perfect middle ground with these. Looking for a five dollar bid, guys. Five dollar bid. Come on. It's a good deal. Five dollar bid for these hat gloves. Five dollars from Cody Dennis. There we, we go. You knew you'd do it. You knew you'd do it. She wants one. You know you that's know a good idea. It's for Cody. Send it. 
Send, Send it. it. It's for Cody for five. Sold for five dollars for Cody. Thanks, Cody. And up for bid. <laughs> I'm not gonna make people go through this again. <laughs> no. no. Go ahead. Do it. Sell yep. this one too. We're gonna sell this one too. We got two of them. It is a beanie, Matt. Do you want it for five dollars? We're looking for a five dollar bid. Cody just bought one. We have another one. I think that's the last one, right? That's the last one. This is the last one we have. We're looking for a five dollar bid. This is a beanie that has got the um, X wing on the front. It's got the uh, Rebel helmet. It's got these gloves with it, and it's also got a scarf that says Rebel Pilot. Matt, if you tell me you want it for five dollars, we'll put everybody out of their misery and we'll throw it over to the side in your pile. You want it for five dollars? It retails for ten, and that's when it was in stores. Now online, you have to pay more than even ten dollars. We're looking for a five dollar bid. I had one hundred of these a year ago, and it's it they are it all might around. fit your fat head. It looks pretty large, dude. Honestly, it says one fi size will fit most, but I mean, this is a pretty pretty decent. It would fit mine, and I think I have a fatter head than you, Matt. So we're looking just for a five dollar bid. It's five dollars. Buy it now. Five dollars. Buy it now. Buy it now. Five dollars, guys. And it's a good hat, man. It's got a good uh, thickness to it and stuff. It's. Let's do it, man. I'll take it. Yeah, sold. Five dollars. Five dollars. Sweet. Thank you, Matt. Appreciate it. Put that in Matt's box. It's a good hat, Matt. You wear that on the stream, and you thank me when you wear that because you're gonna be nice and warm. You wear your scarf. Wear so uh, you play some Star Wars. Uh, Battlefront, fly some ships, have your hat on, scarf on, Rebel you look Pilot. Just like a Rebel Pilot. Just like a Rebel Pilot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's do this one, dude. I think this one is going to be. All right. What do you want to start on? Yeah. Okay, guys. We're going to bring up a big piece for Star Wars right now. This is a very highly uh, collectible piece that you. it is hard to find. And this is a clone Captain Rex uh, figure. This is Star Wars The Black Series, number 59. The box has a little bit of bent up and a little bit of damage. Nothing terrible. The figure inside is in pristine condition. Has never been opened. Never been opened. It is in mint condition. In mint condition online, these go for uh, way over $100, guys. We're looking for a $50 bid. That is the lowest they'll take. $50 bid, guys. $50 for Clone Captain Rex. These alone, without even the extra helmet, like, or without the helmet, uh, I think you get the helmet, the pistol, and this, without the box, are selling for, like, $100 right now on eBay, and I've been doing the research on this. We're looking for a $50 bid to start them off. Clone Captain Rex. A loose figure with no accessories on eBay for $40. So if he didn't have any of the accessories, like the helmet or the pistols... Not boxed. Not the box. Goes for $40 on eBay right now. So this is with the box, this is with the uh, helmet, with the guns. We're looking for a $50 bid, guys. $50 bid wearer. We are going to give this one to go till 516. We're going to give it a full three minutes, guys. Looking for a $50 bid. That is a really good deal on this because... I've done... We've looked through a lot of different auction sites. And not just auction sites, but... Uh, other sites like Amazon and stuff like that, you cannot find them for that price. $50 is a fair price, guys. So we're starting it off with a $50 bid. Has he started on your phone yet? Nope, still doing the hats on my phone. Okay, there's another one on here on Toy Toy Network for $28. Loose figure, no accessories. Yeah, and you're getting the box and the accessories. You're getting the helmet, you're getting the guns. So we're going to leave that right there. I'm going to go check and make sure the other video, because we have multiple videos going right now, just to make sure that the flag isn't too bad. But guys, we're looking for a $50 bid to start it out, guys. $50 bid. Captain Rex. This figure, in the way, the condition it's in right now, I've seen gone for 120 to 130 online. So $50 bid to start it out. Yeah. 
you do? Do you like pepperoni? Yesterday, one of these figures sold on eBay for one forty-two ninety-nine. Captain Rex with a How damage much? box. How much? One forty-two. One hundred and forty-two ninety-nine with a damage box like this. And that closed whenever the sixth was on the sixth on eBay. Okay. Okay, guys, we're gonna go for a couple more minutes on this. It doesn't even show one me in there. One more. We're gonna go one more minute on this. One more minute. Okay, we're gonna go to five sixteen, and that was a yes on the pepperoni. That's a yes on the pepperoni, mom. Thank you. Shorter and less pizza. Gotta stay, gotta stay fueled. Okay, guys, we got one more minute on this. We we're looking for fifty dollars. This just sold yesterday for one hundred forty-two. On the sixth for one forty-two ninety-nine on eBay. On the sixth for a hundred and what? One forty-two ninety-nine. One forty-two ninety-nine. This sold on the six four. We're looking for a fifty-dollar bid, and it is one. It is five sixteen. We're gonna end it for now. We'll bring it back if anybody. Requests. We'll bring it back if anybody's looking for the Captain Rex and looks for it later. We'll bring it back. Okay. We'll go back to Pokemon cards. Yeah, we'll go back to the Pokemon cards, guys. We're gonna go back to the lots here. We're gonna start them off at a five-dollar bid now. We're looking for a five dollar bid. There's a hundred cards in here, guys, with the tins. Random cards. You can have a random holographic card, a coin, or a. Uh, it is a Tapu Coco figure that could be in there as well. So we're looking for five dollars for the tins. These tins sell for like a dollar or two on eBay, and then you have a hundred cards in there, and they're just random cards. There's commons, uncommons, and rares. So guys, really good deal here. We're starting the bidding off at five dollars. Can I get a five dollar bid, guys? And we have a lot of them, so if you bid and you're the high bidder, you can take as many as you want, as many as we have, uh, for five for your winning bid. So we're looking for a five dollar bid, five dollar bid, guys, for Pokemon cards. That's including the collectible tin, a holographic card, possibly a coin or a uh, statue. Matt's asking how much I've spent so far. Matt, I can tell you here in a second, man. Matt, you have spent fifty-eight dollars, buddy. But you've also gotten a lot of good things. So, I mean, look at the amount of cards you got for that. I mean, you yeah. you you sell everything in that box, you're gonna make your money back plus more. So, guys, we're just looking for a five-dollar bid of these Pokemon cards. Because if they don't sell, I'll take them to Jeff's Con. They'll sell there. I'll put them right up in the tote and off to the low. Okay, guys, we're looking for a $5 bid on the Pokemon cards. $5 where? We're only going to do this till $5.20. We're looking for a $5 bid. We're, guys, we're looking for a $5 bid. You got 100 Pokemon cards random in a Ziploc. And then inside here, there's either a holographic, a coin, or a Tapu Koko figure. Um... Five dollars, let's go. Matt with five dollars. He's doing a five dollar bid. We got a five dollar bid, guys. Let's do we can we find a six dollar bid? Six dollar bid. He's got five dollars. Let's go. We said five dollars. Come on. Looking for a six dollar bid. Hundred cards in there, guys. Really good deal. I have no idea what's in any of these. I did not look through any of the cards. You could have reverse holographics, holographics, I don't know. These are just random stuff that I threw in there. And there's a couple tins that I've thrown some nice cards in. Some cards that are definitely worth more than five dollars. So, guys, we've got a five dollar bid. We're looking for a six dollar bid. We've got one minute left. One minute left on this. We got a five dollar bid. We're looking for a six dollar bid. Five dollar bid. We're looking for a six dollar bid, guys. Six dollars where? <laughs> that was the yes in the book. Man, your lag is way back behind everybody else's too, because hers is only a thirty second delay. We got a five dollar bid. We're looking for a six dollar bid, guys. We got a five dollar bid. We're looking for six dollars. We got five dollars going once. Five dollars. We're looking for a six dollar bid. Five dollars. We're looking for a six dollar bid. Five dollars. Looking for six. Five dollars. Looking for six.
And five dollars going twice. Five twenty. Yep. Five dollars sold to Matt Hunter. How many did you like? Matt, how many of these did you want? Did you just want one? We have I th I don't even know what a lot. We have a lot available. How many did you want? You got one for five dollars. Is there any more that you want? Like I said, these tins <clears throat> are worth at least two dollars, if not more. And a hundred cards usually retails for you know five to eight dollars to yeah, depending on what you get. So you got a five dollars is what you wanted. That how many of these do you want? Wait for him to reply. I know it's kind of a lag. We'll just set that aside for Matt when he messages and letting us know how many he wants. We'll include them in his stuff. But he's got that one for sure. He'll take two. He'll take two. Cool. I'll grab this other one. I'll give you two different types of tins. Here you go, Matt. Thanks, man. I really appreciate you buying those. That's really awesome, man. Okay, what do we got here? The Micro Machine Star Wars Planet Set. Wow. Okay, so we got the Star Wars Force Awakens Micro Machine Planet Set. And it looks like we have... Who's this on the front? Um, First Order Stormtrooper. And that's Poe Dameron on the front. And... Oh, wow. It's all a uh, First Order Stormtrooper helmet, guys. So the helmet is where the planet's inside. And then you have a ship that comes over. You have Poe Dameron, it looks like. It looks like there's a Finn action figure and a Stormtrooper and a Dark Stormtrooper in here. So it opens up to be the planet. And it, it all folds up into a... Uh, Star Wars First Order helmet, which is really cool. What is our starting on that? Okay. Looking for a $5 bid, guys, in the Force Awakens Micro Machine. $5 for the Star Wars Micro Machine Force Awakens Planet. And it's the uh, First Order helmet, too, which is really cool that it folds up into that, guys. Show the back of the box. Yep, I'll show that right back there. So you guys can see that. Looking for a $5 bid for this, guys. $5 bids where? Force Awakens Micro Machine Hasbro set. Now they had the, uh, this is the First Order Stormtrooper one. They had one that was a R2-D2 and they also had one that was a First Order Star Destroyer version of it. So pretty cool. Five dollars guys. What are we look We're looking for five dollar bid. Spin for flight. Oh, that's pretty cool. So the, the ship actually flies back and forth on a rod so it actually moves backwards and forwards. No, Jack, you can't play with it. I want to, though. <laughs> Looking for a $5 bid, guys. $5 where? Micro Machines, Force Awakens, First Order Stormtrooper helmet that opens up into a playset. $5 bid. We're looking for a $5 bid. When did we start this off? $5. We started it at 521 521. We're going to go to 525. 525 is when we're going to end it. Just give it enough time. $5. So only 523. Yeah. Yep. I'm giving it two minutes just because of the lag, in case anybody's lagging. Right. $5 bid where, guys? We got a $5 bid where. Your video's even lagging a little bit. Yeah, it is. It's because I'm using a third party uh, streaming service. So it's not just going straight to YouTube, but that's what is able to give us the cash app, the Venmo, and the PayPal, and the email, and everything like that. So guys, we're looking for a $5 bid, guys. $5 bid. we got one minute left on this. Come on, $5 bid. $5 bid. $5 bid where? Micro Machines, the Star Wars, the Force Awakens, First Order, Stormtrooper. This is a cool little gift to give anybody who loves Star Wars. It's a nice little shelf piece, too. It looks like a nice, you know... First order helmet. It's really cool. It's a really cool set, guys. Even if you like Star Wars, five dollars you have a little uh, Star Stormtrooper helmet you can put right on your shelf. Star Wars item for five bucks can't go wrong. Exactly. And if you have a kid that comes over and you don't have any toys, well now you have a toy. Don't open the box. And our FB. <laughs> and we're gonna put that one away, guys. Alright, let's move back to the Pops. Yeah, Funko Pops. Oh, oh, oh yeah, there you go. This one was one of the... 
Okay, guys, Star Wars Funko Pop time. We've got number 64, C-3PO with the red arm. Okay, guys. This is a set. This is number 64. Number 58 is Rey. Number 59 is Finn. Number 60 is Kylo Ren. Number 61 is BB-8. Number 62 is Poe Dameron. Number 63 is Chewbacca. Number 64 is C-3PO that you're seeing right here. Number 65 is Captain Phasma, 660, uh, number 66, Order 66, is a force, uh, First Order Stormtrooper. Number 67 is a First Order Snowtrooper. And number 68 is a First Order Flame Trooper. So guys, we got number 64, C-3PO, right arm. We're starting the bidding at $10. So we got a $10 bid for C-3PO. $10 for a Star Wars Funko Pop of C-3PO with a red arm. Let's see if we get a $10 bid, $10 bid where... Yeah. She's saying she lost the feed. What's that? Okay. Okay, guys, we got a ten. We're looking for a ten dollar bid with this. This is a Star Wars Funko Pop C three PO with a red arm. I've done research on this one, I believe. Take a look real quick. For a $10 bid, guys. $10 bid. Yep. Okay, so this Funko Pop has gone for up to $30 online. This is a really high, I saw it after um, Funko Pop, guys. The C-3PO with the red arm. We're looking for a $10 bid, guys. This is, like I said, this is a $30 pop. We're looking for a $10 bid, $10 bid. You're not going to find it cheaper, and I'll tell you right now, let's see when this was released. Well, it's the red arm, so it's actually from the newer movies. So, probably it was just released a couple years ago, but I don't know if you'll find this in stores. I'm pretty sure you won't. Yep, no longer available. No longer available? Okay, so this is a C-3PO Star Wars Funko Pop. This is of C-3PO with the red arm, guys. Looking for a $10 bid. These go for like $30 online. We're looking for a $10 bid. $10 bid where? Looking for a $10 bid, guys. We only got a minute left with this one. $10 bid. It's a good Funko Pop right here. Got a minute left. Anyone want to do a $10 bid on this Funko Pop of uh, C-3PO with the red arm, guys? Number 64. These are not in stores anymore. This is a $30 pop right here. We're going for a $10 bid, guys. $10 bid. Yep, 529s when we're into that. Got. We're looking for $10, guys. $10. And done. No sale. No sale on that one. Okay. You want to try another one of these? Yeah, sure, why not? And these go for what? Okay. Okay, guys, next up to bit. Oh, we got a $10 for the Cody Dennis for the uh, C3PO. Sold to Cody. Sold to you, Cody, for $10, man. Okay. Is that Cody's plow? Yep, got it. Awesome. Okay, sold to Cody for $10. Put that in his pile there. And this should be... Actually... Got it. Oh, God, wait. Cody got the mute. No, Mike got those, didn't he? Uh, yeah, Cody got the mic. Uh, Stranger yep. Things pop. Yep, the Star Wars pop, the C-3PO, and the... Uh, we got it. I got it all, don't worry. We got, got the, the hat. Down. hat. Matt got one of the hats. Somebody else got another hat. Yes. Cody and Matt. 
Cody and Matt. Okay. So let's Cody. Cody also got the D, the doll. Yep. Okay. So good. We're in the good piles. Yep. Okay, guys. Next up to bid is a Star Wars Black Series Sand Trooper figure, three inch figure, and this comes with a lot of little extras. It's in literally great condition. Still in the box. We're looking for a five dollar bid for the Black Series Sand Trooper five dollar bid. Where, guys? Five dollar bid. I've done some research on this. Uh, these go for up over $25 to $30. Guys, this is a $5 bid. We're looking for a $5 bid. Star Wars, the Black Series Sand Trooper. Let's see what he's got with him. Looks like a nice little backpack that he's got with him. He's got his blaster. Got a larger gun here on the other side. If you're looking for a $5 bid, Sand Trooper. Stern Troopers are dispatched to the Desert World, wears special, specialized gear, and are nicknamed Sand Troopers. Sand Troopers wear standard Stormtrooper armor um, with cooling units, a helmet, sand filter, and a survival backpack with extra rations and water. Guys, we're looking for a $5 bid for the Sand Trooper from Star Wars. Black Series 3-inch figures. We're going to go to 533 with this. 533 is when we're going to end. Looking for a $5 bid, guys. $5 bids where? For the Star Wars Sand Trooper. The nice thing is they did a great painting job with this, too. It even looks like he's been hit with a bunch of sand, and, like, the coloring's great. It's really amazing how detailed they are with these. Okay, guys, $5 bid. Like I said, we're going to five thirty three with this. We're going to five thirty three. So we're looking for a $5 bid, guys. $5 bid where? These go for like 25 to 30 bucks. $5 is a good deal. You're not going to find it. If you collect Black Series or anything Star Wars, great deal right here. $5 bid. $5 bid, guys. We're looking for a $5 bid. We got one minute left for five dollar bid for the sand trooper guys. He's got extra accessories with him. He's got an extra. He's got two guns. He's got his backpack with his extra rations. It looks like a little android up here for some reason, like a little flying robot. Never seen that before. Looking for a five dollar bid, guys. Five dollar bid for the Black Series three inch sand trooper figure, guys. Five dollars. There it is. Cody Dennis at five dollars. We got a five dollar bid, guys. And you want to just mark it sold on that one? No, we'll take it. Sold for Cody. Sold to Cody Dennis for five dollars. Got the Sand Trooper. Nice man. Really nice. Okay, since we got a request, and the technically is from the woman that's feeding us right now. <laughs> All right. Okay, guys, we're gonna bring up these glass insulators. These are electric fence glass insulators. Um. These sell pretty pretty hot right now, so we're looking for a five dollar bid. We have four available. We're looking for a five dollar bid, guys. Five dollar bid where? Five dollars for the glass insulator. These are really really nicely made. Five dollar bid where, guys? Five dollars for the glass insulator. This just goes to an electric fence, and I believe your electric fence would be wrapped around. Well, would go through Wires here and here. Yep. Where's in each end, guys? Five dollar bid where? That sand trooper just started on my feet. Did it? Make me an offer on the glass insulator. If you're interested in the glass insulators, make me an offer. We got a five dollar bid, we got a five dollar bid, we got a five dollar bid. Looking for a six dollar bid with the glass insulators, we got a five dollar bid for the glass insulators, looking for a six dollar bid. Why don't you show the others this way they can? Yep. And make it five dollars starting at choice, right? We got three blue ones. We'll let you guys see those. And we've got one clear one. We got five dollars. And you buy them. If whoever gets the winning bid will um will get choice. And if they we have four available. We've got a five dollar bid. We're we're gonna go to uh five thirty six with these. These are glass antique insulators. And they go on to an electric fence. Your electric fence would hook in there and in there. We have four of them available. We got a five dollar bid. We're looking for a six dollar bid, guys. We got a five dollar bid. We're looking for a six dollar bid. These are antique um, glass insulators for an electric fence. 
We've got four available in the size, guys. Four available in the size. We've got a five dollar bid. We're looking for a six dollar bid. We're going, we've got one minute left. Five dollar bid. We're looking for a six dollar bid. These are glass antique insulators for electric fence. Five dollar bid. We're looking for a six dollar bid, guys. Five dollar bid. We're looking for a six dollar bid. These sell for up to twenty-five dollars on eBay. I've seen some of these exact ones sell for twenty-five bucks. Five dollars a great deal. Five dollar bid. We're looking for a six dollar bid, guys. Five dollars looking for a six dollar bid. Five dollars looking for a six dollar bid, guys. Even six, ten dollars is a deal. Go for twenty to twenty-five dollars on eBay. Antique glass insulators, and it is over. You're done. How many do you want? We got four available. I should just ask her. She's in the next room. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> How many do you want at five dollars? Okay, so there's four. This size. You want all of them? Okay, she wants all of them. That's twenty dollars. Go. Got it written in, waiting for the next oh, item. Right over by this other one that you have over here. Yeah, just write it in just because I want to make sure everything that I sold is in writing. Okay, guys, uh, we're going to do another glass insulator. Um, we got two small ones. Uh, and I looked these ones up. They go for about 30 to 35, actually. These are, for some reason, rare to find the smaller ones. We're just, clear. Yeah. yeah, and clear. Yeah. Um, so we're gonna start off with a ten dollar bid. Ten dollar bid where, guys? Ten dollar bid where? Ten dollar bid. Got two available, guys. Ten dollars. These go for like thirty dollars online. I've seen them. They're they're worth it. Ten dollar bid where, guys? Ten dollar bid where? Glass. And these are also the same as those, but these are a smaller version. And these actually have the name where they're they are Fleron. Um, Fleuron insulator, glass insulators for the fence. Looking for a $10 bid, $10 bid where? Okay, I'll drop it down. We'll go for a $5 bid, $5 bid where, guys? $5 for these glass insulators. Like I said, these sell for like 30 online. $5 is really good price. Oh, we got a $10 bid from Debbie. $10 bid from Debbie. You know what? I don't think anybody else is going to bid on them. I haven't seen anybody else bidding on these or asking about them, but I'll take the $10 bid. $10 bid. We're at 538. Yep. We're going to go to 5... Was it 538 was where we are going to with these? Nope. We're at 538. We're going to 539. We're going to go to 539. 539. We're remaining. We've got $10 bid. We're going to look for $11 bid. We're looking for $11 bid, guys. These are glass antique insulators. These go for like 30 bucks. There's some that I've seen go for more. I don't know really much about them, but I know that they're highly collectible. We're looking for an $11 bid. We got a $10 bid. We're looking for $11. $11 where? Going for one minute left. Got a $10 bid. We're looking for $11. 10 looking for 11 She wants them both. We'll just call it there. Sold for $10 a piece. She wants both of them. Okay, you know what, I'm just going to do a lot of all these. This is going to be the last of our glassware and like our uh, antique stuff. These are insulators, small blue, white. We're also going to throw this larger insulator, and this is a, a ceramic insulator in here. We're going to throw these all in together. We're going to look for a starting bid. Starting bid of $10. Looking for a $10 bid where? $10 bid. These are really cool looking. There's a nice big ceramic uh, insulator here that's going to go with them. And those go for like anywhere from 10 to 15 bucks to see them sell for. These actually sell for about 10, 15 dollars a piece. Um, the Knob blue ones. And tube insulators. They're what? Knob and tube insulators. Knob and tube insulators. This says on it, it has a burn batch radio. This is a radio insulator. Looking for a ten dollar bid to start us out. Where ten dollar bid for everything here? Ten dollar bid. Look for a ten dollar bid, guys. Ten dollar bid. We're gonna go to five forty one with this. Ah, five forty two. We're going with five forty two. Looking for a ten dollar bid. Ten dollar bid. Where? It's a lot of ceramic. 
This is a really nice heavy piece here, and then we got these three little pieces here. Everything for ten dollars. These are nice little insulators. What these would do is they uh, they screw onto the side of your house, and then you'd run the wire through this hole here where the insulator is. It's a really beautiful blue ceramic. Then we have the two white. We're looking for a ten dollar bid, guys. Ten dollar bid where got blue and white. They're all coming in with this one, and then you get a big ceramic insulator here. We're only going to go to five forty-two with this. We're looking for a ten dollar bid. Ten dollar bid where, guys? Ten dollar bid where? Let's set them right there. And we'll wait it out. Looking for a ten dollar bid, guys, on those insulators, ceramic insulators. One is for radio. Uh, the other one, I think this one would probably set up on top of a personal pole. Put wire around. It's a large ceramic. We got a five dollar bid for it. We'll take a five dollar bid. Five dollar bid. Now we're looking for six dollars. We're looking for a six dollar bid. We got one minute left, guys. We got a five dollar bid. We're looking for a six dollar bid. Five dollar bid. We're looking for a six dollar bid, guys. I think we're gonna move on through these. We're just gonna say sold. Five dollars sold. Sold. Five dollar lot. Did you tell him that? Okay. Dad pokes his head on and goes, Don't buy any of those. She goes, I already bought them all. <laughs> He's got to keep an eye on her. I think he just doesn't need anymore. He's probably got thousands of them, yeah. Okay, let's move on to some more uh, Star Wars stuff. Uh, let, let's do the. Uh... Okay, so this is stuff that didn't go. Yep. We tried for a couple that of these. box right there, yeah. This is the Infinity Box. This one? Yep. Does this have the game in it? Yes. Yeah. It's never been opened? Right. Okay, guys. We got another Star Wars piece. This is Star Wars Infinity with the Ahsoka Tana and um, Anakin Skywalker figures. This box has not been opened. The game is still in there. This is for, I believe, the Wii. No, it's the Wii U. Uh, how much were we asking on this? Okay, guys. We're looking for a $5 bid. This has got the game and it's got the two figures in it. This is... Pretty much brand new in box, guys. This has not been opened. It's got everything right here. It's got a Anakin Skywalker and a Sokatana right here on the front, as you can see. It's got the Wii U game on it. Come on, guys. Five dollar bid for the uh, for this nice little game system here and uh, these two figures. Five dollar bid. We're looking for a five dollar bid. And this is for the Wii U. One game, two ways to play. Play in there. Uh, play in their galaxy. In their playset, in the playset, an epic adventure awaits inside. Twilight of the Republic playset. Create your own universe in the toy box. Enter the new toy box 3.0 wide open world of possibilities where you can create your own stories. World of games with some of your favorite characters in the Disney Infinity. So, guys, this is just Star Wars characters, but, I mean, there's the game can, can go off to so many different other things from Disney. We're looking for a $5 bid. There's $39 on eBay. What's that? $39 on eBay. And this goes for $39 on eBay. We're looking for a $5 bid, guys. We're looking for a $5 bid. This goes for $40 on eBay. We're looking for a $5 bid. There's stuff like Marvel, Star Wars, and Disney. This is just the Star Wars version. We're looking for a $5 bid, guys. This is a good deal. $5 bid. Five dollar bids to start us off, and this is uh, we're gonna end this at five forty six. We got a five dollar bid. We're looking for five dollar bid for Disney Star Wars Infinity, guys. It's got the game included, the statues included. This is a good deal. Five dollar bid where? It's a pretty cool game right here. Look for a $5 bid, guys. $5 bid. If you guys collect any retro video gaming, even if you just want the figures, the figures are worth 5 bucks as itself, you know? But if you have a Wii U, this is a cool little game to have for your kids. Uh, it's really awesome, actually. You take the figures, and I believe you place them on a platform. And the platform, the character comes to life in the video game. So, a really cool concept. This is still available from GameStop for $59.99. Okay, this is still available at GameStop for fifty nine ninety nine. So, like I said, five dollars a good deal, guys. You could literally buy this, turn around, flip it if you wanted to. Five dollar bid, five dollar bid where, guys? Five dollar bid, five dollar bid where for the Star Wars Infinity? 
We have one minute left. Who wants it at five dollars? Thank you. Look for five dollar bid, guys. Five dollar bid. Where? Five dollar bid. Got one minute left. I think we lost some viewers. It says we have zero viewers on my phone. Does it say that? Yeah, I think everybody just got booted. Hmm. Yep, there's Cody for five dollars. Cody for five bucks? Yep. There he is, Cody Dallas. Cody for five dollars. Five dollars going once. Yeah, no, it says we have six people. It says yeah, we have five Mike people went, there, Mike six people. all the way down to zero, and now it's back up to five people. Yep. So everybody must have gotten booted. Yeah, it must have just reset. Five dollars going twice. Five dollars sold to Cody Dennis. Five dollars. Alrighty. Infinity set for Cody. Yep. Guys can take a quick break real quick for like literally two minutes. Would you like a slice of pizza? Yep. Yeah. Put, uh, put up the next item up in front of the camera so they can see it while they're waiting. Yes. Let's do the next item up. Let's do this big set. On the bottom one. Yep. Yeah. Five bucks. Okay, guys. Guys, this is the next one that we're going to be doing, and I'm just going to tell you what it is real quick. It is the Star Wars Kessel Run set. It is a really huge, really beautiful set. Um, so much in detail with this. So I uh, hope you guys will like this. We're going to start with a $5 bid, guys. Start off with a $5 bid. This is the Star Wars Kessel set. This is a 3D model that you can build, and you'll have the, the Kessel. It's the Kessel Run, right? Nope, just the castle. Just the castle? Okay. Yeah. Guys, five dollar bid there. for a five dollar bid guys five dollar bid five dollar bid we got a kessel this is the kessel playset for star wars force linked mine escape so this is like the mindset from uh star wars kessel run he's looking for a five dollar bid guys five dollar bid it's a really good deal because those go for a lot more than five dollars Not a bit at the moment. This is the Star Wars Castle playset. There is one available on eBay, opened, and missing pieces for $13. New in the package. It retails on eBay for $50. The current bid is $5. I got caffeine. I'm going to be great. It's going to be good. It's going to be great. Okay, guys, that's right. It's $50. $50 that it usually goes for retail. We're looking for $5 bid, guys. $5 bid where? It is the Kessel. Um, it is... Uh, the mining set from Star Wars, I believe this would be from the Han Solo movie, if I'm correct. 
and it is a full 3D uh, set that you get to build, and it's not really that hard of a build, but you have... Even Cody can do it. Even Cody can do it. That's right, Cody. You should bid on it. It's got even a Han Solo figure in the corner. Guys, come on. Han Solo is worth $5. Plus, you're getting the Kessel. You can tell everybody about the Kessel Run story. Um, so you have, like, the mining that's up here. It's a 3D set. Includes uh, four, uh, three back... It looks like two backdrops, one framing system. Um, it's got Han Solo. It's got a couple guns. So, pretty cool, guys. Pretty good size set. $5 he's looking for. This originally goes for $50 online. $5 bid where, guys? $5 bid where? Like I said, if you guys are even not even Star Wars fans and you're just... Looking just looking to flip stuff. $5. You can sell it easily for $20. Easily. And it goes for $50. It $5 bid. $50. Yeah, there it is for $50. Bucks. $5 bid, guys. We're going to go for one more minute. $5. For a $5 bid, guys. $5 bid. Five dollar bid, guys. It's worth it, guaranteed. Guaranteed. Yeah, uh huh. Looking for a five dollar bid for this fifty dollar toy set. Five dollar bid, guys. Five dollar bid. It'll be going up off on five fifty two. It's gonna be gone. Looking for a five dollar bid, guys. Okay, set that off to the side. That's the no-sale box. That's the no-sale box? Okay. Oh, I'm trying to... Bloop. Okay. Take a bite of pizza yeah, real Lego, quick. The Lego set? The Star Wars Lego set? Yes, we'll bring that up real. Sharding on that. Okay, guys. Sorry about that. Uh, we have a Darth Maul Lego set, number seven, uh, 75224. Uh, this is Darth Maul with his um, ship. These retail for about 25 to 30 bucks. We're looking for a $5 bid, guys. $5 bid. Star Wars Lego set. Anything Legos is always iconic, and when you get Star Wars included with it, it's great. Guys, $5 bid. We're looking for a $5 bid for this Darth Maul ship, and hit, he's actually in here too with his lightsaber. That's pretty cool. $5 Legos, guys. Can't go wrong with $5 Legos. Good for a $5 bid. What? What? You say 75224? 75224, yep. There is one of these currently available for $57 on eBay. 57 on eBay. Little tiny eBay. That little tiny Lego set. What is it sold for on eBay? I'm looking at that now. That's a big question. Oh, $5 from Debbie. Alrighty. Five dollar bid. We're looking for a. F now we're looking for a six dollar bid, guys. Six dollar bid. Most recently, it sold for twenty. Mm -hmm. And that was on the seventh. Is that today? No, today's the ninth. So the day before yesterday. We got a six dollar bid from Cody Dennis. We got a six dollar bid. We're looking for a seven dollar bid, guys. Seven dollar bid. Seven five two two four on Macari for sale for fifty dollars. So they're like fifty bucks. 50 bucks for that little set. That's crazy. These are retailing for $50, guys. Do we have two of them? No, that's the only one of that one we have. No, there's another one right there. Is that the same one? Yeah, I believe so. Nope, that's a different one. Is, is it? it? Or is that the same kit? Same kit? We got two of them. So we do have two available. So winner of this auction can take both if they want. And if uh, Cody only wants one, Debbie can take one for her bid. There's one of these on Amazon for $112. What is it that's so crazy about these? I have no idea. So one of these is on Amazon for like $112. That's insane. Okay, guys, we're going to end this at $555. We've got $6. We're looking for $7. $6. We're looking for $7, guys. We're looking for $7 bid. $7 bid where? I'm looking for $7 bid, guys. $7 bid. For the Darth Maul Lego set, this uh, apparently is on Amazon for 120. 
That is eBay. currently on eBay. Currently on eBay is going for a hundred dollars. Ninety nine ninety nine. Holy crap, guys! Come on, if you are smart, you will buy this for like. I mean, we got a six dollar bed. We're looking for a seven dollar bed. These are selling for fifty to a hundred dollars, guys. Come on, we've got a six dollar bed. We're looking for a seven dollar bed. And there's five fifty five sold to Cody Dennis for six dollars. How many would he like? Cody, how many would you like? Do you want one or two? One or two? Oh wait. Hang on, we're lagging here. Oh, we're lagging. We got a seven dollar bid. No, wait and let the computer catch up. Yep, we got a seven dollar bid. It's hard when the that lag happens. Yep. Well, the fact that they all popped up in a row. Oh yeah, they were right behind each other. We got a seven dollar bid. Look for a six dollar. Uh. Nope, seven dollars is where we're at. Got eight dollars. We got an eight dollar bid. We got an eight dollar bid. Okay, hang on. Let's because we're lagging. Is there any way to see what time Cody logged his bid? There is a way to check his log for his bid. Go down to the bottom. Put Go user, down to his eight dollar bid. User in time. I hadn't closed it when he because she he right. he won last time. Okay, we're gonna close this this bidding, guys, at five fifty eight. We got eight dollar bid right now of Cody Dennis. Eight. What's that? Nine. You're at nine. Oh, oh, and he's back at ten. We're and he's really back lagging. at ten dollars. Yeah, we're really lagging here. We're lagging on communication, guys. I apologize. This is this is really lagging bad. What's that? Okay, Cody, you want it at ten dollars? You want one or two of them? You got them at ten dollars a piece, and they are like I said, they're going for fifty to hundred bucks, man. If you want both of them, that's twenty bucks. Let us know, Cody. Let us know in the comments. That'll take a minute before he catches up. Yeah. <laughs> well, when he does that, I can eat my pizza. <laughs> there you go. Should have brought paper towels out here. Cody, let us know in the chat if you want one or two. Would you like a paper towel then? Want more, Dan? Just let us know. Yep. Thank you. Cody said he wants one. Debbie will take the other. All right. One for Cody. One for Debbie. So. Thank you, Cody. Appreciate it, buddy. One for Cody. One for Debbie. Okay, guys, let's get into something else here. Well, um, move the crick cuts, maybe? Yeah, yeah, why not? Quick sale them at, start them at a uh, dollar. Start them at a dollar and... Okay, guys, these are some crick... These are uh, scrapbooking stuff. Um, these are crick cut... Uh, they're... Fiskers. Fiskers, thank you. Fiskers, they are punches that have different designs on them. If you do scrapbook or you have a mom that does scrapbook, it will definitely be something that they want. We're gonna start these at a dollar. Um, we have a bunch of different kinds of designs. This one's a corner cut piece, really cool. Um, we have heart. So Cody, when you get married, you can make the heart ones for yourself. Oh, make them for your, make them for the whole, uh, what is that, the reception. You can put hearts around the table. Uh, we got a flower punch. These are all these are all going for a dollar a piece. We're going for a dollar a piece, guys, dollar a piece. And then we have this ballerina one. Is that a punch? That is a hole punch. So guys, we're looking for a dollar a piece. Dollar your choice, dollar your choice. Starting bid, one dollar. One dollar for a hole punch, one dollar, guys. If you know, if you do scrapbooking, or if you have a mom that does scrapbooking, one dollar for a hole punch. Oh, we got a one dollar bid, one dollar bid. A wife that does scrapbooking. A wife that does scrapbooking, a girlfriend that does scrapbooking. 
Or if you want something for arts and crafts for your kids, they're pretty safe, to be honest with you. So we got a $1 bid, we're looking for a $2 bid. We got a $1 bid, look for a $2 bid, guys. <laughs> we're looking for a $2 bid, we got a $1 bid. We're going to go to 602. 602 for the uh, scrap looking hole punches. We got a one dollar bid. We're looking for a two dollar bid. We got a one dollar bid. Looking for a two dollar bid. Hey guys, these are hole punchers, man. These are these are about five to ten bucks a piece at Joanne Fabrics, stuff like that. Um, we got a one dollar bid. The ones are eight to ten dollars. The larger ones are eight to ten dollars. Yeah, we're looking for a one dollar. What's that? The ballerina is twenty. The ballerina goes for twenty dollars, guys. That is a that is a steal. We're looking for a two dollar bid. We got a one dollar bid. Look for a two dollar bid. One dollar bid. Look for a two dollar bid, guys. If you have a mom that scrapbooks, you have a girlfriend that scrapbooks, or anybody that you know that either scrapbooks or does crafts, arts and crafts, these are great little things to have. They're even fun for your kids to use. You can hole punch and make different designs, guys. We got one dollar bid. We're looking for a two dollar bid, and it's buyer takes what they want. One dollar bid, looking for a two dollar bid, guys. We're going to six oh two. We got one minute left. We got a one dollar bid, look for a two dollar bid. We got a one dollar bid going once. Sold at one dollar. How many you have, Dan? Take them all. Just take it all of them. There you go. That's one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. You got eight, eight dollars right there. Okay. Put them right here in the side. Okay, guys. Something crazy about to happen. Bringing out the big guns, guys. In this box, believe it or not, I've gone through and I have priced stuff. These are baseball, football, basketball cards. There is an equal uh, equal value of about five hundred dollars in this box. I am trying to get out of selling cards individually, so I box this whole box together with $500 worth of cards. We're looking at a $100 bid where? $100 for at least $500 of cards. $100 where, guys? Give me a $100 bid. Give me an offer. Make me an offer. Make me an offer of what you guys think this box is worth. Let me give you a weighing scale. We got Larry Bird cards in here. We got, I think there's Michael Jordan. There's Magic Johnson. Uh, we got Patrick Ewing. We got whole complete sets of baseball from 2012 baseball. And these sets are in here from each different team. So, I mean, I haven't done much research on those, but those are in here. Um, we got rookie cards here from, there's Mike Dumas. These are football cards. We got baseball cards. And like I said, these cards I've, I've valued um, all of them. And like this one's full of $5 baseball cards. We got uh, this one's... Um, one dollar hockey cards. We got uh, two fifty dollar rookie cards right here, guys. I mean, these are huge freaking cards. So right there is a hundred dollars. We're looking for a hundred dollar bid. Give me an offer, though. Give me an offer, guys. Give me an offer on the cards. Let me weigh it. Let me tell you guys what we have here for the weight of cards. I'm telling you right now, this is at least five hundred dollars worth of cards. We got a ten pound box of baseball cards, football cards. Like I said, I have I have gone through individually and priced these. It took me like about thirty to forty hours of just pricing the cards in this box, and I know there's five hundred dollars worth in here at low cost of sale. So right now I'm asking a hundred dollars. Somebody give me an offer. Got a hundred dollars for this box. Give me an offer. Just set that right there. We'll let that go. We'll let that go for right now. Six oh four. We're gonna go to six. We're gonna go six oh seven, guys. We gotta. Huge box of really great cards. Let me get some out. Let me get the uh, big hitters out so you guys can see that I ain't, uh, I'm not lying or anything. Okay, guys, so let me open this one. These are the ones that I uh, went through and licked them up. These are, and hard sleeves too. So this one right here is a uh, 
Bowman Chrome rookie card of Nick Adenhart, pitcher for the Angels, and that is his holographic Bowman and Chrome. That one I saw online before grading was $100, and it had sold for that. We have a Max Skyzer pitcher for the uh, DeBacks. That is a rookie card. Or no, it is not a rookie card. Yes, it is a rookie card. Um, for the Arizona, Arizona Diamondbacks, his card went for $50. This the same exact card. So right there, these two cards right here have, have valued for $150. Bucks. We're looking for a $100 bid wear, guys. We're looking for $100. Give me an offer. Give me an offer on these lots of cards. These are all $5 baseball cards in here. These are Bowman and Chrome. These are rookie cards. These are good cards. If you're looking to flip stuff, this is going to be a good deal for you guys. I guarantee it. These are all $2 cards here. These are some crazy good cards. So, I mean, like I said, these are just $2 cards here. We're looking for, looking for an offer, guys. We're asking 100 Give me an offer, though. Give me an offer. We got basketball cards here. There's a Dennis Rodman card in the front, guys. Dennis Rodman, power forward, NBA hoops, defensive player of the year card. These are only like a dollar cards, but you know what? With the names, with them being iconic, these ones are dollars. Let me see if I can find some more big hitters. These are the $50 cards. These are the $5 cards. Let's look through the $5 cards so you guys can see this. Guys, we're only going to go to 607 for this. It's a good lot. We got autograph cards from David Robertson, New York Yankees pitcher, Ruben T uh, Tejada. Uh, this one is Carlton Fisk, uh, Clay uh, Bolschels, uh, another Clay, Bill Buckner, and a rookie card of Jake Soul Skoll. This is his rookie card. This is from uh, Extra Edition. So these cards, like I said, these are all like $5 cards. And then we got the $50 card. We got the $100 card. Looking for a $100 bid wear, guys. $100 bid wear. Give me a $50 bid. We got a $50 bid anywhere, guys. Got a $50 bid. We got one minute left, guys. Give me a $50 bid. It's yours. $50 bid wear. It's a good deal. You're going to have at least, I know you're going to have at least like $500 worth of cards in there. Looking for a $50 bid, guys. $50 bid where? $50 bid. Okay. Well, that one is ended for now. We'll set these off to the side. And that's okay. Sometimes that happens. Okay, guys, let's look through. Can't sell any of his stuff. Here we go. We'll bring this up. Okay, guys. Another lot of baseball cards, guys. We got a whole tote here. A whole tote of baseball cards. And there is at least, I'd say, about a thousand cards here. These ones haven't really been gone through, but we have full sets of Bowman and Chrome autographed you know cards here who's gonna give me a $25 bid $25 bid $25 bid for over a thousand cards these are chrome Bowman and chrome rookie cards we have a bunch of different uh, Bowman and chrome cards in here there's uh, extra edition there's these are good good cards upper deck tops you have a bunch of different ones look for a $25 bid give me a $25 bid for a thousand baseball cards guys thousand baseball cards Looking for a $25 bid. We're going to go to 611 with this for a $25 bid, guys. $25 bid where? Guys, think about it. $25 for like almost a thousand cards. You sell each one of those cards at like 50 cents a piece. You're doing fantastic. And there's cards in there that are a couple dollars, I know. I've looked at a couple of them, and I just didn't want to go through all of them. So I'm guaranteeing you got your money back plus more. Looking for a $25 bid. $25 bid where, guys? $25. Like I said, we're going to go to 6 11 with that. It's a good deal. Totally worth it. No sale on the other box? Mm-mm. 
They were a little too pricey, I think. There's a thousand cards in that. It's two and a half cents a card. Yep. Two and a half cents a card, you make your money back easy. You get them, burn them, and get more out of the heat at two and a half cents a card. <laughs> Save on fuel oil. Twenty-five dollar bid. That's all I'm looking for. Make me an offer. If anybody's watching wants a thousand baseball cards, make me an offer on that box. Make me an offer. I was asking twenty-five. Make me an offer. Thousand baseball cards, guys. Thousand baseball cards. Closing in a minute. Gonna turn on some lights real quick because we're actually getting pretty dark in here. Make me an offer, guys. We got twenty-five dollars on the thousand baseball cards. Make me an offer. That's just what they want to see. You eating on screen. All right, man. That's right. That's why we lost a lot of viewers. <laughs> Okay, 25, gonna be closed down now. That's okay. We'll figure something out with those. Those off here. Want those hockey cards again? Yeah, let's go for it. Let's see, you know, we'll see if those sell. Okay guys, we're gonna we're gonna try to sell these again. Um These are the NHL 1991 um, hockey packs. These are the English and we also have the bilingual series. We have what was it 13? 13? We have we have 26 in total. We're gonna just put them together in a thing because they're the same series. They're just bilingual in English. What's that? Oh. Yeah. Uh, oh, put them all together. You think? Or not? That's a good deal. Okay, guys. 26 packs of unopened packs here, guys. So we have a lot more than that, but 26 of these NHL packs, all of them. Together, unopened, 1991 Wayne Gretzky cards. We have uh, Bobby Orr cards in here. $20 starting bid for 26 unopened packs of 1991 scorecards. Give me a $20 bid, guys. $20 bid. An easy no-brainer. That's, that's worth every cent. Somebody buys that, they're good. We're looking for a $20 bid for 26 unopened packs. I know there's a couple people on here. If you do pack openings, these are great filler packs. They have Wayne Gretzky. They have Bobby Orr. They have there's like so many different cards. There's um some I think it's Brent Hall is another one, another big hockey name. Guys, 26 unopened packs from 30 years ago, twenty dollars starting bid. Let's see if we get anybody on this. Brand card? Hmm? Score brand? Yes. Score NHL Hockey 1991 packs. Looking for a $20 bid for 26 packs, guys. a pack and the most I found them for is $17 a pack. So at $20 that's a bargain. Yep. So you said he found them at $8 a pack? Or that's six, the cheapest. Or $16 a pack. Yep. And everywhere in between. Yep. So I'm starting bid $1 or we're doing 26 packs for $20. That's what we're going to do. That's not even a dollar a pack. It's not even a dollar a pack. Nope. That's a good deal. Pulls it down six fifteen, like I said. There it is. Okay, they did not sell. That is a shame. 
I knew anything about hockey, I'd probably buy it. You know what they're worth? <laughs> More than twenty-six dollars a pack. So, okay, I'm just gonna set these off to the side. I guess if you get the Bobby Orr card, it goes for a lot of money. Okay, and this one? How much? Okay. Starting out, see if we get some bidding, get people moving. Yeah, I think everybody fell asleep on here. But, uh, do you have any football cards? Um, the football packs got all bought out by, uh, earlier at the auction. Um, that one box has football cards. The one that I said make an offer because it's got like really good football players on it. It's got like a, I think there's a Marino and a bunch of stuff in there. That was a hundred dollars for the box. It's a ten dollar box. Um, and for fifty bucks, I'll sort out all the football for him. <laughs> but for Cody, I will start a bid at fifty dollars for that box. There's like five hundred dollars worth of cards in there. If you want it, it's yours for fifty. Let me know. I'm gonna do the starting bid for Star Wars Force Awakens. This is the Finn action figure guys Star Wars Force Awakens Finn and it says Jakku one dollar starting bid for Finn one dollar do we get one dollar guys do we have one dollar one dollar for the Star Wars Force Awakens Finn action figure it's a dollar <laughs> From now on, if we get something, we'll just um, if it doesn't get bid on, it goes in that box. Take it to the next step. Take it to the next one. Yeah. Okay, guys, we're looking for a dollar for the Star Wars Force Awakens Finn action figure, guys. Finn from Jakku. New on the card. New on the card. Yep. You'll not. None of the items from now on will be coming back up for auction once they get passed on. If they get passed on. This is your one chance. Three dollar bid from Cody Dennis. Three dollar bid. Got a three dollar bid. Three dollar bid for Finn. We go to uh, what time do you want to go to for this one? Give him until eighteen. Six eighteen. Six eighteen. We're gonna go to guys. We're only gonna give this a minute. Come on. We got three dollar bid. Looking for a four dollar bid. Three dollar bid. Looking for a four dollar bid. Three dollar bid. Looking for a four dollar bid. Looking for a four dollar bid for this Star Wars Force Awakens Finn action figure. Got a three dollar bid. Looking for a four dollar bid. Three dollars. Looking for four dollars. Going once, going twice, and it's sold. It's Cody, 16. Dennis. Cody Dennis for three dollars for the Star Wars Wars Awakens. Okay. Okay, you guys. Cody won that one for three dollars. Okay, here we go, guys. This one is a really nice piece. This is a Sokatana Black Series figure. We got a $10 starting reserve on this. $10. We're looking for $10, guys. $10. 3-inch figure. Sokatana with her blades. She's got the blades with the sabers. Uh, with the, uh, the light. Uh, what do you call that? And the lightsaber's like lit up. Like what is the, the light part of it called? The blade, I guess, would it be? Blade. Yeah, it would be the blade. She's got the one with the blades out. And then one set of sabers with the blades in. So if you don't want her to actually be using blades. So guys, we're looking for a $10 bid. This has got a reserve for $10. $10 bid, guys. $10 wear. Ahsoka Tana Black Series. <clears throat> Three-inch figure. Completely worth it for $10. Looking for a $10 bid, guys. $10 bid. Ahsoka Tana, 3-inch, Star Wars, Black Series figure. These have gone for up to $30 to $40, if not more. This is worth it. It's a $10 figure. We're looking for a $10, $10 bid, $10 bid. That's preserved. One on eBay right now for $49.95. One on eBay for $49.95. Ahsoka Tana. After she just made her appearance in The Mandalorian, her character, well, not only that, but if you're a fan of Clone Troopers, you have to get this. It's a great little figure, and they did a great job with the artwork. The detail is very, very nice. Great piece there to have. One loose 
for $22 with no lightsabers. Loose with no lightsabers. Loose with no lightsabers? It goes for $22. And this guy's this is still in the box. Still in the box. Looking for a $10 bid. $10 bid for the Force Awakens Star Wars. Or, not Force Awakens. Black Series. Sorry. She is not in Force Awakens. $10 bid from Cody Dennis. We got a $10 bid. We got a $10 bid. Damaged box for $32. A damaged one for $32. That's not even that. That's pretty that's nice condition. Amazon. Got a ten dollar bid. Got a ten dollar bid from Cody Dennis. We're gonna go to six twenty two. But this we got a ten dollar bid. We're looking for eleven dollar bid. We're looking for eleven dollar bid. Ahsoka Tano for only eleven dollars. Cody's gonna get a deal if nobody bids. Got a ten dollar bid. We're looking for eleven dollar bid. Ahsoka Tana, Black Series figure. Really nice figure, guys. It's a good deal for ten dollars. We're looking for eleven dollars. We're looking for an eleven dollar bid. We got a ten dollar bid. We're looking for an eleven dollar bid, guys. We're going to six twenty two, like we said. We got ten dollars going once. We got ten dollars going twice. Look for an eleven dollar bid, guys. Got a ten dollar bid. This figure goes up to fifty to sixty bucks, guys. There's one on eBay for forty nine ninety five plus sixteen fifty shipping. Forty nine ninety five plus sixteen shipping, guys. That's insane. That's over sixty dollars for this figure. He's and got a ten dollar bid on it. No shipping fee. If you're local, there's no shipping fee. That's right, guys. Looking for we got a ten dollar bid. Looking for an eleven dollar bid. Ten dollar. Looking for an eleven dollar bid, guys. It's gonna be a good deal. Cause he's gonna get a good deal right here. Sold to Cody Dennis at ten dollars. Got the Ahsoka Tana three inch black series figure. Okay, guys, we're bringing out the big hitter now. Here we go Star Wars, the black series. Darth Vader three inch figure, guys. We got a reserve for fifteen dollars. Fifteen dollar bid, guys. Looking for a fifteen dollar bid. This one goes for even more than I think Ahsoka. I'm not. I'm don't don't quote right me now. that. He's looking it up right now. Looking for a fifteen dollar bid. Fifteen dollar bid, guys. When these were in the store, you couldn't even get these for fifteen dollars. I believe these were twenty dollars a pop, right? They were. They started out retail twenty four ninety nine for Darth Vader. So for Darth Vader was originally twenty four ninety nine, starting out for the three inch uh, figures, guys. We're looking for a fifteen dollar bid. This is the Black Series. This does not have a number on it. So it's unnumbered. Okay. It's an unnumbered. Yep. Looking for a fifteen dollar bid, guys. This comes with his lightsaber. Detail is really, really nice, guys. Star Wars: The Black Series, Darth Vader. There is one on Amazon for a hundred and forty-seven dollars. Are you serious? Yep. Okay, it's on Amazon for a hundred and forty-seven dollars, guys. Fifteen dollar bid. There's one for fifty-five on eBay. Fifty-five on oh, eBay. There's also one for thirty-nine on eBay. To be fair. Okay, so there's one for thirty-nine too. So it's just all. Oh, what have they box. sold for? Do you have the sold marker on oh, that? Let me go back. We're gonna do the sold marker to see what these actually are selling for, guys. A fifteen-dollar bid is not a bad deal, guys. Fifteen-dollar bid for Darth Vader Star Wars Black Series figures. We're gonna go to six twenty-six with this, guys. Six twenty-six oh. is when we're going for it. We're looking for a fifteen-dollar bid on the three-inch Darth Vader. Black Series figure, fifteen dollar bid. Where? Here he is. So the lowest it sold for was thirty four dollars. Okay. And the most it sold for was ninety seven dollars. Okay, guys. So the lowest it sold for was thirty nine dollars. So that's thirty four dollars. Thirty four dollars. So we're still only asking half the price of what they're selling for at the lowest. The highest it sold for was ninety what? $91. $91. Guys, this is a good deal. $15 bid. We just need a $15 bid on this. It's got two more minutes, guys. Two more minutes. Think about it. It is a great figure to have in your collection. If you don't already have it, it's a good thing to buy. $15 bid, guys. $15 bid. And if you don't have Vader, you don't have a collection. That is true. There's a true statement right there. Looking for a $15 bid, guys. $15 bid where? We 
got one minute left. Got one minute left. No bid in here. $15 bid on this Darth Vader. Nobody bids on it. It's going to go away. $15 bid. It's going to end at 626, guys. Getting close to that time. Close to that time. Loose without his lightsaber, $18 on eBay. So loose without his lightsaber is $18 just for the figure, guys. This is a good deal. Even if you want to flip it, we don't care. $15. $15 going. It's going to be gone here in just less than a minute. And it's gone. That's okay. No sale. No sale. That's okay. You can get that for a This one? Yep. How much? Huh? So with it. Okay guys, what we have up next is really, really cool. I actually have never seen these before. This is the first time I've seen them. It is Salt and Pepper Shakers from Funko Pops of Han Solo and Greedo. Excuse me, Han Solo is the Salt Shaker, Greedo is the Pepper Shaker. Collect the entire li uh, line of Star Wars Funko Pop housewares. We are looking for a $15 bid, guys. $15 where? $15 bid for the Salt and Pepper Shakers of Han Solo and Greedo, Funko Pop style. $15 bid, guys. $15. They are worth it. So, on eBay, $65. $25. So $25, $29, $20. Oh, here's one for 19 It has been opened and used. It has been opened, and this is still new in the box. That's okay. new in the box. So this is a pretty good price for it then. $35, $29. So they've sold up to $35, $29. You said, you said one at 19 that's been used. Yep. So we're looking for a $15 bid, guys. New in the box. These have not been used. These are still new in the box, guys. I can fill them with salt and pepper if they want them. They may come with salt and pepper. $15 from Cody Dennis. Cody there wants salt go. and pepper. Yeah. Cody wants his salt and pepper. Got a $15 bid for the Greedo and the Han Solo. We're looking for a $16 bid. We're looking for a $15. We got, we got 15 We're looking for 16 Let me hold it up right. <laughs> we got a $15 bid. We're looking for $16 for the Han Solo salt shaker and the Greedo pepper shaker. Every new couple's kitchen should have one. The nice thing is... The Greedo has holes in the right places, not in his stomach, because, you know, Han shot first. Han shot first. So the pepper comes out of the top of the head, not the stomach. We're going to 630 on this one, guys, 630. We got a $15 bid, we're looking for a $16 bid, $15, looking for $16. It is the 40th anniversary of Star Wars Edition 2. It's got the sticker right on top. Han Solo and Greedo Star Wars Salt and Pepper Shakers. we got a $15 bid. Looking for a $16 bid. $15 bid. Look for a $16 bid, guys. Got a fifteen dollar bid. Looking for a sixteen dollar bid, guys. Fifteen. Looking for sixteen. Fifteen. Looking for sixteen. We got one minute left on the Han Solo Salt Shaker and the Greedo Pepper Shaker. We got fifteen. Looking for sixteen. Fifteen. Looking for sixteen. Going once. Fifteen. Looking for sixteen for the Han Solo Salt and Pepper Shakers with Greedo. Fifteen. Going twice. We 
your first 16 with the Han Solo and Greedo salt and pepper shaker sold to Cody Dennis for $15. $15. $15. Box over there. Yeah, pretty much. Just a reminder to everybody who's been in the auction with bidding, uh, remember you have to have a payment within 24 hours of all the items. Uh, because a lot of the people that I know that bought today, they are local. I will happily meet you somewhere to deliver. Um, you know, bring the cards, uh, bring the stuff out. Uh, Cody, if you have the money available tonight, I can always swing by after I'm done here because I'm heading out to Canton. Plus, I'm seeing Mike tomorrow. So, actually, let's bring up one of those. Okay, guys, so we're looking at $15 for another. We have another Darth Vader shower head. This one's actually, like, so new it has even had the tabs pulled up where it hangs. We got another one of those well, shower heads. <laughs> well, now we got one of these shower heads, the Darth Vader shower head, starting at $15. $15. Selling it at $15. Selling it at $15. If somebody we says they want it, at 15, we've, so. we've already sold one at $15. We will sell it at $15. Somebody says $15 sold. Put it in the comments. Fifteen sold. We will. This will be your Darth Vader shower head. Everybody can use one of these. Everybody who showers, anyway. That's true. Then Cody doesn't need this. Let's put this away. <laughs> ah, I'm just kidding. Cody. That's mean. I'm just kidding, Cody. Okay, guys, looking for a fifteen dollar bed. Fifteen dollars and sold. Who wants the Darth Vader shower head? Looking for the fifteen dollars on this. We just sold one earlier for fifteen. We got one more. We're gonna sell it for fifteen. Fifteen dollars. Remember what I said this has? It has the Darth Vader handled shower head. It has the holder. It has a seventy-two inch hose, and it has a uh, thing of plumber's tape, guys. So, really worth it right here. These retail for what was it? Fifty. Fifty dollars for these retail. Thirty nine ninety nine. Thirty nine. So forty dollars. Forty dollars. These we're retailing for. We're looking for fifteen dollars, guys. Fifteen dollar bid. We're looking for fifteen dollar bid, and it's yours. Fifteen dollar bid. We're gonna go to six thirty four, guys. Six thirty four. Fifteen dollar bid. Fifteen dollar bid for the Darth Vader showerhead. Does Cody need one? Behind, hide behind Darth Vader and eat pizza. One more minute. Pokemon uh, I haven't seen anybody in asking for Pokemon. Matt bought too, but I mean, worst case, I'll just bring him to a Comic Con or something. Yep. That's okay. Have a big show we do, and that will be a good inventory to bring. Somebody asked about Pokemon cards. If you guys are here for Pokemon cards, let me know. I do have stuff still available. Did I miss basketball or football cards? Matt, uh, yes, I had baseball, NHL packs, and... Oh, wait, you said basketball or football cards. Um, You missed one box that we had. Uh, the box had at least $500 worth of uh, cards because I've gone through and priced everything, Matt. went through uh, all the stuff that you told me to go through and, like, all the different uh, companies. And uh, it came up to almost, like, $500. I think it was, like, 470 something It was roughly right around 500 And that was with a bunch of cards I didn't uh, go through. Starting bid was at $100. Nobody bid on it. I uh, went down and said if somebody gives me 50 I'd take it. So if you're interested in it, the box is right bring there. Bring that back up. Yep. I'll bring it up. So it looks like we are not going to sell this one. The other, we have another shower head that's going to go. So, yep. no sale. Yep. Show them. Yep. Show them Matt that big box. And yep. We'll show him that and see if he's interested. Matt, these cards, like I said, I've gone through. I priced them. Fifty dollars, and it's yours, bud. Bunch of five dollar cards. These are uh, Bowman and Chrome rookie cards. It's definitely worth. Uh, you know, there's a Dennis Rodman card here. This is basketball, so it's got Dennis Rodman, NBA hoops, Defensive Player of the Year. Those are, uh, I think, those are 
one dollar cards. We got five dollar cards. We got ten dollar cards. We got fifteen dollar cards. I'll be in and out at this. Okay, so it looks like he's not interested. Okay, Larry Bird card in here. A bunch of different stuff. So uh, I think I spent around seventy-eight. Uh, let's right see where he's at. 20, we'll let you know here in a second, man. Forty, fifty, sixty-eight, sixty-eight, sixty-eight is what I've got. Did I miss something? Bite of. Uh, so for him, I have the. Uh, I just had a bunch of these NHL packs fall under the couch. Uh oh. Yep. It just all slid. I should have got a table out here. Yep. Of course, right, everybody's so seeing. Just double checking on Matt. He got the shower head, the hat set. Yep. The two Pokemon tins, the football cards. Yep. The Ghostbusters Lucas. Yep. Stranger Things Pop, and the box of cards for twenty dollars. And a hat and scarf. Yes. The hat and scarf, as I said. Yes. What does that equal up to? 30, 40, 50, 68. Okay, Matt, you're at 68 box spot, not 78. But if he wants to leave a $10 tip for the. Uh, for but the yeah, assistant. if you want to leave a $10 tip, we're all okay with that. We're not going to argue with it. Yeah, because these went for what? That one went 20. for 20. Yep. This is 5. Okay. Okay, yep, Matt, you're at 68 bucks, bud. $68 on Matt's tab there. Um, yeah, I'll just get those other yeah, If anybody packs. else needs a total, just let me know. I've got them all right here in front of me. Yeah, we have everybody's totals right here. We wrote everything down to make sure we kept it. Hey, Matt, I'm telling you right there, man. Those packs, those cards right there for 50 bucks, you're going to make your money back plus way more if you're interested in it. I'm just getting out of selling individual cards. I'll probably buy some packs and sell packs sometimes, and maybe a couple individual cards, but I'm telling you right there, man, there's way more than $50. I'm talking, you're close to the 500 range. I just try to get out of all the singles. Um, let's see what else we got. Star Wars stuff it's selling. What is this? Oh my god. There's a whole other box of freaking football cards. What is in this? I didn't know what was in there. These are football cards. Matt, we've got a small box of football cards, baseball cards. Um Sort of. Well, no, these are all these are nice cards, too. I don't know if you're still watching, Matt, but uh, give me a uh, starting bid of $10, guys. Let me know how much is in here, how many are in here. There's a big box of football. Uh, any unopened packs of football? No, you bought all of them. <laughs> you bought all of the unopened. I got this. This is all a bunch of different um, football cards, baseball cards. Starting bid at ten dollars, and it is nine and a half pounds of cards. Ten dollar bid, guys. Ten dollar bid for nine and a half pounds of cards. They're in Ziploc bags. They've been organized a little bit. I just haven't got. I haven't gotten a chance to price them yet. Bless you. We got Pinnacle, New York Giants. We got Philadelphia Eagles. We got some Fleer metal cards in here. He goes, LOL, okay. Uh, we've got OPG Baseball. Wait, did you say there's Eagles cards in there? There is Eagles cards in there. There's a Philadelphia Eagles Cody, card in there. Cody Dennis doesn't like the Eagles, does he? No, not at all. And this is uh, Randall Cunningham uh, Metals Fleer card that's sitting in here. $10 bid, guys. $10 bid for a bunch of football cards. Football and baseball. We got Buffalo Bills. We got uh, the Redskins. We got, there's David Ortiz. The Redskins, the Redskins play golf, don't they? I don't think uh, there's golf teams. Let's see this. There's some good cards in that one. $10 bid, guys. Come on, give me a $10 bid. $10 bid for literally almost 10 pounds of cards. $10 bid where, guys? $10 bid where? Get a bunch of football and baseball cards. If you guys are looking for those, those are great.
I got a ten dollar bid from Cody Dennis. Thank you, Cody. Got a ten dollar bid. I'm looking for eleven dollar bid. Ten dollar bid. Looking for eleven dollar bid. We're gonna close this up at six forty two, guys. Six forty two is where it's gonna end. We got a ten dollar bid for the box of cards. We're looking for a six dollar bid. Or wow, no, eleven dollar bid. We're looking for eleven dollar bid, guys. We got a ten dollar bid. We got ten pounds, almost ten pounds of cards, guys. Football and baseball, both. But there is a Philadelphia Eagles uh, card in there, Cody. It's got a ten dollar bid. Looking for eleven dollar bid. Ten dollar for looking for eleven dollars for ten pounds of football and baseball cards, guys. Got a ten dollar bid. Looking for eleven dollars. Ten dollars. We're gonna shut this down. I will take that big box for fifty, and then I'm tapped out. Deal sold for fifty dollars. We'll put Matt in for the fifty dollar box. Yep. And you know what? That's a good deal. Because he's gonna definitely make his fifty bucks back, no problem. When, Matt, when you find that one car that sells for like a couple grand and I start crying, can you just at least buy me an Elspeth's pizza? <laughs> that sounds fair. Because I've gone through and I've priced them, and there's there's it's there's a couple complete um, teams from 2012 in there. There's like 10 or 15 actual complete teams from the 2012 top set in there. Still in the plastic that they sealed it in. So, thank you for that purchase, Matt. I appreciate it, bud. So yeah, that's uh, that's a good deal. You got a great deal there, man. Um, so we got ten dollars. We're looking for eleven dollars for this box of football and baseball loose cards. We're looking for ten dollars. We got ten dollars. We're looking for eleven dollars. Ten dollar. He goes, "We'll do, man. Sweet. Sounds great to me. It's a win-win situation." We got a ten dollar bid. We're looking for eleven dollar bid. We got a ten dollar bid. Look for eleven dollar bid. Ten dollars, and it's sold. Cody Dennis for ten dollars. Okay. Let's get into some Star Wars stuff. Pa, pa, pa. Let's go for the big one. The bigger go home. All right, do it. What time? What's? Okay, what guys, we got a really, really crazy cool piece here. Highly collectible. This is one of the best pops that we have tonight. This is the Chewbacca 236 Chewbacca with the ATST. It is him riding in it. It does have a reserve. We're starting bid at $45, guys. $45, looking for $45. This sells up to over, I think it's gone for over $100, hasn't it? Over 100, yeah. It's gone it's for over $100. $100. Wow. Okay, this is a beautiful piece, too. It is Chewbacca riding the ATST, looking for a $45 bid, guys. $45 bid. Like I said, this has gone for over $100, bucks. $45 bid. We're going to set him right there. We're going to talk a little bit. There we go. Okay, guys, really cool Funko Pop to be getting. Um, we have a lot of Funko Pops still to go through, guys. We have a whole entire box sitting right there. We still have to go through. But this one is one of the best pieces that we have tonight, guys. Having a Chewbacca riding the ATST. You cannot get these out of stores anymore, correct? They are gone. They are gone. They are not going to be up for anymore. So if you're looking to get one of these, this is a good price. Otherwise, you're going to be paying double or triple for your collection. Looking for a $45 bid for the Chewbacca with the ATST. There is one out of the box for $58 on eBay. One out of the box. We all know if you collect Funko Pops, you want to keep them in the box. One out of the box is for how much? $58. $58 on eBay. That's without the box, without it being in the box. And honestly, this box is near mint. Like, there's no corners smashed. They're all really nice. Really nice. Looking for a $45 bid, guys, to start us out. This is totally worth it. Like I said, these sell for over $100 easy online, guys. $45 bid. $45 bid, guys. You will not find these in the store anymore. If you're a Star Wars fan, you do not have this for your Funko Pop collection. You will not find this again for this price. This is a good price. $45 bid, guys. We're going to go to $646 on this. There is two available on Amazon currently. The guy wants seventy dollars. Mm -hmm. It is not available for Amazon shipping, so he's asking another fifteen dollars in shipping. Wow. Oh, and when you scroll down, it says only one left. Yep, they aren't making it anymore. I'm gonna bounce for a few. I'll be in and out, I'm back in a bit. Okay, sounds good, Matt. Guys, that's a really good deal for that Star Wars Chewbacca pop. That's uh, you're not gonna find that anywhere else like that. 
And that box is in pretty much clear to mint condition. And if you're uh, buying it by itself, you're going to be paying more than what we're asking in it with it in the box, guys. We got one minute left. Forty-five dollar bid. This figure was released April first, two thousand and eighteen, and was retired April twenty-first, twenty twenty. So retired in twenty twenty, guys. They are no longer making this pop. There's a beautiful piece. Okay, guys, one minute left, guys. Star Wars Funko Pop Chewbacca with the ATSD looking for a $45 bid, guys. We got one minute left, less than one minute left. Don't let this pass you. Otherwise, if you try to get this in your uh, collection later on, it's going to be a lot more you're going to be paying. And there it is, guys. Okay, retired. No sale. No sale. Okay, guys, we got Star Wars Black Series figures. Um, this is a six inch figure of C3PO with a red arm. Our starting bid is at $5, guys. $5 bid for Star Wars Black Series figures. When you get these in stores, they were $20. It's a good deal. $5. Right on the bottom, it says he was $19.99. Hmm, so it does. Yes, it does. You can yes, show that on the camera and they can see. It's in really fine movie. writing, and this doesn't focus on no, the fine writing. Focus on anything that small. No, but it was, yeah, it was nineteen ninety nine. Okay, guys, five dollar bid on the Black Series C three PO number twenty nine, and this is the one with the red arm. So, Black Series number twenty nine, guys, five dollar bid. Looking for five dollar bid, six dollar. We're looking. We're gonna go to six fifty on this. Looking for a five dollar bid, five dollar bid where C three PO with a red arm, number twenty nine, six inch figures, five dollars where guys, five dollars where. Really good deal, is guys. The one with Babu Frick? This is not the one with Babu Frick. Nope. Okay, okay guys, looking for a five dollar bid, five dollar bid where guys. This is a good deal. This is a great deal. Twenty five dollars, twenty five dollars, thirty dollars. So they're, they're retailing around $25 right now. Yep. 36 29 Looking for a $5 bid, boys. $5. $5, guys. Come on. $5 bid. We've got two minutes left to this. We're only going to six fifty with him. $5 bid. These are retailing for 30 to 40 bucks. $5 bid, guys. $5 bid. $5 wear. C-3PO with the red arm, guys. Number 29. Going to 650. $5, guys. Five dollars from Cody Dennis. Five dollars for the C three PO with the red arm. Five dollars. Got one minute left. Looking for a six dollar bid. Six dollar bid where? Six dollar bid. Six dollar bid where? Got five dollar bid. Looking for a six dollar bid. Five dollars. Looking for a six dollar bid. Five dollars. Looking for a six dollar bid, guys. Five dollars going once. Five dollars going twice. Looking for a six dollar bid, guys. Sold to go to Dennis for five dollars. Okay, 
so right. Yep, that's right. And what do you think? Super. Okay. Okay, guys, we got a uh, another Star Wars Black Series figure, Ray Palpatine. <laughs> Uh, number 44. Yeah, it's a secret. Oh, my bad. Jedi in training. At last, at long last, Rey has found Luke Skywalker, the Jedi Master, uh, the last Jedi Master in the galaxy. Hoping to find a hero of legends, she must unlearn what she has learned as Skywalker challenges expectations. Number 44, Rey, Star Wars. Starting at $5 bid. Looking for a $5 bid, guys. We're gonna go to 6:52 with this. Two minutes. Two minutes. Uh, actually, 6:53. Now we're going at 6:53 with two minutes on it. Looking for a five-dollar bid. Five-dollar bid. Where for Ray Skywalker or Palpatine, whatever you, whatever you choose. Looking for a five-dollar bid for the Black Series. Ray. 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 Looking for a five dollar bid, guys. Five five dollars where? Nineteen ninety five, nineteen ninety five, nineteen ninety five, fourteen ninety nine is the cheapest one I found, and the most expensive is twenty five. Guys, these retail from anywhere from fifteen to twenty dollars. Looking for a five dollar bid, guys. Five dollar bid where? Ray Skywalker, guys. Cody Nicholas. Cody's probably got four. She has her staff, her lightsaber, and her pistol, her blaster that she's got. Looking for a five dollar bid for the Black Series number forty-four. Got one minute left. One minute left. Five dollar bid where, guys? Five dollar bid. This is a good deal. This is a good deal right here. Originally like 15 to 20 bucks right now. We're going for a $5 bid, guys. $5 bid. It's going to be gone just in a couple minutes. Miss an opportunity and she's gone. Did not sell. No sale box. Um, hey, how about this one? Okay, Star Wars, the Black Series, Titanium Series, guys. We got the Imperial Death Trooper and the Rebel Commando. Uh, the Rebel Commando. So, guys, we got their helmets. This is a really cool um, die cast. They're very, very heavy. You can feel it. They're both on stands, clear stands. Really amazing detail on these guys. Um, and we're going to go with a starting bit of $5, guys. This is number six of the Star Wars Black Series, Titanium. That's a good deal for five bucks, guys. Five dollars. These are two helmets. They are very, very fine detailed, guys. And uh, like I said, they do have clear stands. These are really nice shelf pieces. They're really good collectibles. You can either leave them in the box, or if you decide to take them out, put it right up on your shelf. They are really cool looking. Really iconic. Look for a five dollar bid, guys. Five dollar bid. We're gonna go to six fifty seven with these. Six fifty seven. We're gonna go to these five dollar bid, guys. We're looking for a five dollar bid. Got a six dollar bid from Cody Dennis with the helmets. Yay, Cody! Thank you, Cody. We got a six dollar bid. Looking for seven. We're going to six six or six fifty seven, guys. Six dollar bid. We look for seven dollars. Really cool. Star Wars: The Black Series. Is that my Cody? 
We got four people on. No, that doesn't count me. Oh. So it means one other person. I think Matt has his left arm. No. I think when we uh broke the bank with everybody else. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they did good though. Did we? I mean, those are. I'll take those Pokemon cards and bring them to the. Uh, I might have another. I'll have another auction and have those go up again. We good. Got two more minutes, guys. We got a six dollar bid. We're looking for seven dollar bid. Six dollar bid. Looking for seven dollar bid. Six dollar bid. Looking for seven dollar bid. We got the Titanium series from the Black series. We have the Imperial Death Trooper and the Rebel Commando helmets with displays. Uh, display stands. Stands. Thank you for that word. <laughs> Number six from the Black series. We got one minute left. We got six dollars going once. We got six dollars going twice. Still gotta try to sell that one too that you just put in that box. Oh, okay. Yeah, because yeah, we didn't we, we didn't done any of these pops yet. No, we have a bunch of pops too, guys. We've got twenty five more pops to go. Twenty five more Funko pops to go, guys. That's an insane amount. And sold to Cody Dennis. We're just gonna put it right on now because nobody's bidding against him. Sold to Cody Dennis for six dollars. All right, do this one next. How much you start the set? <laughs> really? Yep. Okay, guys. I've never actually seen this before, and I think it's really cool. This is the Star Wars: The Black Series Porgs. Look how small they are, but the detail they—they they did each individual feather on these. Like it's so detailed. Five dollar bid, guys. I've I've never seen these before. These are a five dollar bid. They are there are two porgs in this. One with wings out, one with wings in. This is a really cool piece to have for your black series figures. If you ever plan on displaying them, really cool to have. We're looking for a five dollar bid. Five dollar bid. What do these retail for? You know? I'm looking up right now. He's looking to see what these go. <laughs> Cody goes, Yay, pops, how much do the porgs go for? Oh, Cody, there's a lot of pops, dude. A lot of pops to look through. I've never seen these porgs before, and I've been in a couple stores. Holy crap. How much do they go for? $128. What? $128 they've gone for. Heck, I might bid on them for 5 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Can I bid on my own auction? Alright, no. There's a bunch of them in here for 10 and 20 bucks. Okay, I was gonna say somebody must be you know making up a number but on that's, them. That's they're on eBay. They're asking. Well, it's what they're getting is what I'm more interested in. Right. Yeah. Guys, looking for a five dollar bid on the porgs. Five dollar bid. We're gonna go to seven o'clock with this. Seven o'clock. Looking for a five dollar bid, guys. Five dollar bid on these mini porgs. These would be great. Hey, Cody, you can make them into earrings for your girlfriend or for your fiance. There you go. These would be cool as earrings, dude. They would. So. Um, they sold yesterday for seven dollars and five dollars. You got a five dollar bid from Cody there Dennis. Go. All right, Cody, that would be a really cool gift. You, you could make these into earrings for her. She would absolutely love those. How about we just sell those to Cody for five? Sold to Cody for five. Sold. Okay, guys, we have so many Funko Pops to go through. It's not even funny. Um, but we have a couple Black Series that we still need to get through, and. Uh, Oh, yeah. Yep, the Tuscan. Yeah. Okay, guys, we have a Kylo Ren 6-inch figure. Um, $5, guys. $5 bid. For, uh, number 45, Kylo Ren. He comes with his lightsaber, with the blade out, and with the blade in. He's got two sabers with him. $5 bid, guys. $5 bid where? $5 bid. Looking for a $5 bid. Yeah, I don't think this thing's accurate. It says poor on my side. I don't even know if it's the streams. The stream should still be up. Everything should be going good. Looking for a five dollar bid, guys. We're gonna go to seven oh three on this seven oh three. Five dollar bid, guys. Five dollar bid for Kylo Ren. It is a six inch 
45, number 45, uh, the Black Series Star Wars um, figure. We're looking for a $5 bill. Come on, guys, $5. For a five dollar bill, guys, for the Kylo Ren Black Series number forty-five Star Wars figure. This is a six-inch figure, guys. This comes with his lightsaber with blade out and blade in. He's got two different lightsabers that you can have. Really cool if you want to put them up on your nightstand or something like that. You have a display case. You want to make some kind of scene. Really cool thing to have. Um, I might buy one of these from you because I was thinking about doing like a red LED light behind it and building like a you know buying a couple of these and doing like a, a scene. Full could diorama. Do. Yeah, full diorama. It'd be really cool, guys. Looking for a five dollar bid, guys. We're only going till seven oh two. Seven oh two. We got one minute left. Five dollar bid, guys. Kylo Ren. It's a really good deal for that. I mean, I've seen these in stores when they used to be in stores. They were twenty to twenty five bucks a piece. We're selling them for five bucks, guys. And they still sell online for twenty to twenty five dollars a piece. There's some that sell for a lot more. Cody, we did have the Captain Rex earlier. I don't know if you were here for that. What was the starting bid on that? Fifty bucks. Yep. Yeah, the starting bid on the Captain Rex was fifty dollars, just because online, uh, without the box and out accessories, he was going for like eighty. So um, this was in the box with the accessories. Starting bid was fifty dollars. Just wanted to let you know that it did come up for sale, but unfortunately, no bids. Went back into the box. So that is still available. Just let you guys know that. There you go. It just picked right up. Yeah, that's what it's been doing mostly. Yeah, and there it goes now again. It's back to yeah. Yeah. It's okay. Looking for a five dollar bid on Kylo. We have less than a minute left. Is he gonna disappear? Let's find out. Yes, he is. No sale on Kylo. Poor Kylo. It's already depressed enough. Nobody wants him for five bucks. So this was the uh, five, and that was yeah, right. Okay, guys, another Black Series Star Wars figure. It is Luke Skywalker, Jedi Master number forty-six. After tragedy destroyed his attempt to rebuild the Jedi Knights, Luke Skywalker vanished from the galaxy. Now the Resistance needs his help to thwart th uh, the efforts of the evil First Order. Number 46, Luke Skywalker starting at $5, guys. We're looking for a $5 bid. $5 bid for a 6-incher, six 6-incher, six wow, 6-inch figure. We'll just go with that. We'll go with that. We're going to let that be. <laughs> We're going to let that be. 6-inch figure. $5 bid. Luke Skywalker, guys. It doesn't get more epic than that. Um, it doesn't come with an extra hand, unfortunately. That was lost with the saber. At the Death Star or something. Yes. Yeah. That would have been the ultimate line in that movie. Yes, it would have. That the end of the film, she hands him back the lightsaber and he says, There was a hand with there that. There was a hand Did with you that. See that hand? Yep. That is actually Mark Hamill's joke. Mm -hmm. Talked about the end of the film. They did that in the in the deleted scene. He actually said that. He was like a hand came with that, you know. Five dollar bid from Cody. Got a five dollar bid for Luke Skywalker. Yay, Cody! Five dollar bid. We got a five dollar bid. We got. We're gonna go seven oh five. We got a five dollar bid. We're looking for a six dollar bid. We got a five dollar bid. We're looking for a six dollar bid. Five dollar bid on Luke Skywalker, guys. I apologize if you guys are watching me eat my dinner, too. I know that must be uh, terrifying for all of you. we got a $5 bid. We're looking for a $6 bid, guys, on the 6-inch Black Series Luke Skywalker pop. That is going to be a great deal for Cody Black if he gets series, it. not pop. Did I say pop? You said pop. The pops are coming up. The pops are coming up. I apologize. It is the Black Series Luke Skywalker, Jedi Master. We're going to only go for one more minute. He's got it for $5 looking for a $6 bid. We got $5 looking for a $6 bid, guys. $5 looking for a $6 bid. $5 going once. $5 going twice. For that one minute. Waiting for that one minute. Can somebody come in? And sold! Cody Dennis, $5. Cody is getting the deal of a lifetime. He is doing well. And the last Black Series figure, right, for the night? Yep. 
The last Black Series figure is Lando Calrissian from the Han Solo movie, Star Wars, the Black Series. This is number 65. Lando Calrissian, smooth and sophisticated, Captain Lando Calrissian stands ready to retire from the life of a smuggler and instead becomes a full-time gambler, or sportsman, as he calls it, shuffling from card game to card game across the galaxy. Number 65, Lando Calrissian, starting out at $10. Look for a $10 bid, guys, $10 bid. This is Daniel, Glo Daniel Glover, who played Lando Calrissian in the new... Han Solo, the Star Wars movie. Looking for a $10 bid in there, $10 bid. We're only going to 708 with him. What's up? Currently $34 on eBay. Currently going for $34 on eBay. We're looking for a $10 bid, $10 bid. America Toys has them for $21.99. 22 bucks for America Toys. Want to tell uh, Cody to pay for five? Yeah. Did I miss Ahsoka? Uh... Yes. Yes, Ahsoka sold. Do we have another Ahsoka? That was the only Ahsoka we had. Yeah, Ahsoka sold. Um, Cody got it. Cody got it, yep. The only thing we have left, we didn't do the Luke Skywalker. Yeah, Cody just bought Luke Skywalker. No, the 3-inch. Oh, the 3-inch. Three 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 inch. Yeah, we never did the 3-inch yeah. with him. Or the, uh, the Boba Fett, either. Yep. Those two we didn't do, and that's something that I think will sell good. Okay. Okay, so let's do uh, c close that one for Cody, right? Uh, he didn't. He didn't buy it. Uh, we got Lando Calrissian for five dollars. Isn't that his five dollars that was just up there? Nope. That's uh. Oh, that was the porks. Yeah, that was the porks. Okay. So he can go back in the box. Yep. No okay. sale. No sale on Lando Calrissian. Um, can I show both of them? Just sign up. Well, no. I'll just uh, we'll do. Yeah, show them both. Okay, so these are five dollars each, guys. Starting bid is five dollars each. We have a Luke Skywalker, and we have a Boba Fett in white. Yeah, and I believe that's the. These are five dollars each. So let's. Uh, I'll read you guys the back of these. Uh, Boba Fett prototype armor. Before he put on the familiar Mandalorian armor from the Star Wars saga, the, Nortor the notorious bounty hunter was initially uh, envisioned as a super trooper. Haha. <laughs> He should have been named Farva. Uh, in all white armor. So that is the Boba Fett, and that's what he was envisioned. Luke Skywalker, convinced he can turn his father away from the dark side of the Force, Luke Skywalker surrenders to Darth Vader and is brought before the Emperor. So, guys, we have these two starting at $5 a piece. These are three inch figures. We got Boba Fett with the jack pack and the uh, two guns. And you have Luke Skywalker with two different kinds of lightsabers one with the blade out, one with the blade in. Guys, we're looking for $5 bids. $5 bids, guys. $5 bids. It's your choice at $5. $5 bid. $5 bid. Or take them both at 10 Take them both at $10. Both at $10. These are some really cool figures, guys. I especially like the, uh, the Boba Fett in the white armor. It's supposed to be called a Super Trooper, guys. Five dollars for both? No, not five dollars for both. Five dollars a piece. Ten dollars for both. Okay, so the Boba Fett right now, uh huh, on eBay sold for thirty nine dollars. This one goes for thirty nine dollars on eBay. Five dollars each. Okay, Cody, is that you placing a bid for five dollars each? Okay, so we got a bid from Mike. He will do five dollars on the Boba. Okay, so one of you's got to go six. Six on Boba. Mike's got six on Boba. So Mike just wants Boba. Cody's got Luke at five. Holy crap. Uh, one sold for $75 the other day. Cody's got ten on Boba. And ten on... And five on, on uh, Luke. On Luke, yep. So Luke's at five dollars off to the side. We got ten on Boba. Mike, you had six. Cody's got ten. We got ten on Boba. 
Can we get 11? We'll go up by $1 increments if you guys want. That works. We got $10 on Bubba. We're looking for $11 on Bubba. We got $5 on Luke. We're looking for $6 on Luke. Bid's going to close at seven twelve. I'll do seven thirteen actually, because I'm halfway through 10 Gives you guys enough time. We got $10 on Boba. We got $5 on Luke. We're looking for 11 on Boba. We're looking at 6 on Luke. The Boba's worth it, man. With it being worth $40. Uh, this, the armor's really amazing. One sold on eBay for $159 at the end of last year. Really? Yeah. One of these sold for $159 on eBay the end of last year. So uh, it would have been 2020? Yeah. December? So the bo you can still buy the Boba on Amazon for $50. So the Boba on Amazon for the Boba. He's got 11 on the Boba. We got 11 looking for 12. We got $11 on the Boba looking for 12. We got $5 on the Luke. Still going. Luke's going to end in one minute because Boba's the one that's being active bidded on. But Luke's yeah. the one that's, you know, being bitted off the side. We got $11 on Boba. Looking for 12. We got 12 on Boba. 12 on Boba. Like he just said, this one just sold December of 2020 for 100 and what? How much did it sell for? $149. $149 on eBay that sold for. $159. $159 on eBay. Sorry. So this is worth it, guys. You got $12. We're looking for 13 Mike. We're looking for 13 He's got 15 on Boba. Mike's coming in strong. He's like, nope, forget your $1 up. Let's go three. Go big or go home. Mike is all the way. There we go. We got 15. Looking for 16. We're looking for 16 on Boba. Come on, and Cody. You can do it. <laughs> Dan's rooting for Cody, and I'm rooting for Mike. I don't know what's going on here. We got 15 on Boba. We're looking for 16 on Boba. And Luke has sold. Luke has sold to Cody for $5. Cody got Luke. All right. We're still going on Boba. Come on. Cody would look for $16. We're for 16 with Boba. Like you said, this is highly collectible. This one you will not find. You can find them on Amazon, but they sell for 50 to 60 bucks. You're not going to get one at this price. $16. We're looking for $16, guys. We got a 15 bid. This is going to close at seven thirteen, guys. You literally have less than a minute. 15 on Boba. 15 on Boba. We're looking for 16. We got 16 on Boba from Cody. We got 16 on Boba from Cody. If it's an active bid, I'm going to add a minute, though, because... To get him, cut anybody off, make sure don't want to cut. They everybody needs to get a chance to bid on. We got sixteen on Boba. Mike, we're looking from you. Whenever you guys are done bidding against each other, if you aren't going to go up anymore, you just go. Okay, I'm on. He can Tap have out. it. Tap house. So we got sixteen on Boba. We're looking for seventeen on Boba. Like I said, buying this brand new, you're gonna pay fifty, sixty bucks on Amazon. If you go on eBay, you're gonna probably pay more than that. This is a sixteen dollar. We're looking for seventeen. He's got twenty on Boba. We got twenty on Boba. Look for twenty one. Mike is coming in strong with the right hooks with the four dollar and three dollar increments because he's he's Mike. We got twenty dollars on Boba. We got twenty. We're looking for twenty one dollars. We're looking for twenty one dollars. Like I said, guys, this is a fifty to sixty dollar. Yeah, this could go up for even more. Like you said, he sold last year one hundred fifty nine dollars on eBay. Come on, guys, we got twenty dollar bid. Looking twenty one dollars. Twenty one dollars, guys. We got a twenty dollar bid. Cody's rolling change. Cody's over there, like, mm. come on, Cody, come in there with the right hook. Got 20. Can we get 21? Can we get 21? Can we get 21? Got $20. Like I said, if one of you guys decide that there's $21, got $21 on Boba. You already bought Cody. You already bought Luke for $5. It's just Boba now. You got $21 on Boba. We're looking for 22 from Mike. Looking for 22. And you know Mike, he'll come in strong. He'll be like, mm. got 21. We're looking for 22. We're looking for 21. We're looking for 22. 22 on Boba. We got $22. We got $22 from Mafia Mike. Like I said, guys, $50 figure right here. $50 figure. And you're getting it for $22. We're looking for $23 from Cody. $23? I have never seen this figure before, and I've collected a lot of Black Series. I've been around a bunch of stores. I've not seen this. I've been to GameStop, Walmart, Target. Not seen this figure. You can get it on Amazon. It is $50 new. We got $23 from Cody. We got $23. We're looking for $24. We're looking for $24. Got $23 from Cody. And I'm telling you guys, this thing is... This is rare. I don't. I haven't seen these. Like you said, you can get them on fifty dollars on Amazon, so you're getting them for half the cost right now. Where you're at, you're looking for twenty four. And last year, one hundred and fifty nine dollars. That's insane. So we're looking for twenty four dollars from Mike. Twenty four dollars, which is still an amazing deal. And the box is in pretty decent shape, actually. They're, the corners are not terrible at all, and you have like really cool figures. This is this is gonna be good, guys. We got twenty three from Cody. Look for twenty four from Mike. Twenty three from Cody. Twenty four from Mike. Or a new bidder. What's that? Or a new bidder. Or a new bidder. If anybody wants to get into the ring with these two uh, 
Goliaths. We got 23, we're looking for 24, Mike. 23, looking for 24. If I don't hear anything from anybody by 720, we're going to move on to the next item. So we got 16. We'll do 716. Well, that's in less than a minute, and it could just be a lag, so. Okay. We're going to give them to 720. Okay. Yeah. We got 23, we're looking for 24, Mike. 23, looking for 24, guys. Like I said, this is a very nice figure. This is going to be worth it, guys. If you want to pull out your smartphones, you got enough time real quick. Pull out your smartphones. See what these things go for. You're paying a good price. We got 23, but looking for 24. Mike, are you out? Or are you in? Let us know. Is this all this one? Yeah. yeah, they go for crazy price. I haven't heard anything from Mike. Looking on both chats, I don't see anything. Like I said, we'll wait till 7.20, unless Mike says he's out. Guys, please communicate with us, let us know. Got 23, but looking for 24. Hundred ninety nine dollars. One of these sold for? Yeah. When? It's April twenty first, twenty nineteen. Twenty nineteen. They sold for wow. Oh, this is Alan Harris autograph though. That's why. Oh, okay. That's that makes sense. Yeah. Got twenty three. We're looking for twenty four. Okay, we're gonna go to seven eighteen. Actually, we're not gonna go all the way to seven twenty. It looks like Mike might be possibly out. We got twenty three dollars on Cody Dennis. We don't have anything from Mikey right now. I don't know if he's still viewing. Got 23. We're looking for 24. 23 looking for 24. Less than a minute left, guys. Mike, if you get in here, we'll go for a couple more minutes. But we're going to try to move here's, this along. Here's the loose figure for 43. Yeah. So. The loose figure is $43 online, guys. We're looking for 24. You have 23. 24 is what we're looking for. Going once. For 23 to Cody. Going twice, 23 to Cody. Sold, Cody Dennis for $23, Boba Fett. So you got Boba Fett and uh, Luke for 28 for everything. Good bid, guys. That was great. That was a good bid. All right, let's do some pops. Yes, well, actually, let me get these packs done real quick. Oh, okay. And then we'll go on to the pops. Guys, um, I'm just going to do it as a set for all three, just because even though they're different. Guys, we got the Back to the Future. Um, we have Ghostbusters 2, and these are baseball cards. These are top collectible movie cards. They do have bubble gum in them. Do not eat it, Cody, or whoever buys this. Um <laughs> We're going to start all three packs for $3. So that's a dollar a pack, guys. $3 bid. We're looking for a $3 bid. These were made in 1989. They are a really cool piece. They are all still factory sealed. Back to the Future 2 and Ghostbusters 2. There's two of the Ghostbusters, one of the Back to the Future. Looking for $3 for three packs. $3 for three packs. Can I get a $3 bid, guys? $3 bid where? Looking for a $3 bid, guys. $3 bid. Got three movie packs. Ghostbusters 2 and Back to the Future 2, guys. Looking for a $3 bid. $3 bid, guys. $3 bid where? They are worth it. Got a $3 bid from Mafia Mike. Thanks, Mike. There we go. Mike's got a $3 bid. $3 bid there. Really cool card packs. They're all still factory sealed. Uh, the Ghostbusters are eight cards. One sticker. Ooh, there's a Ghostbuster sticker in there. What? That's pretty cool. Uh-oh, Jack's keeping them. <laughs> uh, and then with the um, Back to the Future, we got nine movie cards and one sticker in there, too. That's pretty cool. They have stickers, though. I didn't realize they had stickers. Cody Dennis at $4. Cody, if you haven't pissed Mike off enough, <laughs> he's got to come in and steal his cards, too. We got a $4 bid. We got a $4 bid. 
Cody's never getting invited to a Mike's barbecue. Four dollar bid. Four dollar bid. <laughs> Look at him trying to make a deal here. What does one? Do, what one do you? Once do you want, Mike? Look, look at him, he's trying to be a friend now. I gotta pick on him. We got he's the back good, to the... He's a good guy. He is a good guy. He's trying Don't to be tell like... Don't we said that. No, no, we, it's not on camera. So we have one in Back to the Future and two Ghostbusters. Cody's asking, which one do you want, Mike? He's he's willing to split the pot here. Guys, we got a $4 bid looking for a $5 bid. We got a $4 bid looking for a $5 bid. Cody asks, I mainly want the Back to the Future ones, uh, is what he's saying. Sure, Cody, I'll sell you the Back to the Future one for $4. Any I open packs on TikTok, lol. Oh, well, there we go. Mike, you missed earlier. I sold, I had 26 hockey packs for 20 bucks. And they no sailed. And they no sailed. We had a bunch of packs. If you're interested, I can cut you a deal, man. Make an offer. Pretty much. Well, three of them, I think, fell under the couch. And the which I'm not going to be able to get to. Until later time. So you take all the boxes off the counter. Pretty much. And Mike, and Mike does that. He does the uh, opening of packs. Yeah. That's a cool thing. It is. It is a lot of fun. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Exactly three packs fell under the couch. Okay. okay, so we got a $4 bid. We got a $4 bid. Going once. $4 bid. $4 bid going twice. And sold four dollars to Cody Dennis. Right, gotcha. We have so these will go to Cody, and then Cody, if you and Mike decide to strike up a deal, you guys go ahead. No problem. Four dollars, Cody Dennis, for the three packs of vintage. Yeah, that's right. I said vintage cards. Uh, so real quick, Mike. Uh, I know you said you're opening packs online. We have twenty three packs. I'm just gonna keep the other three for myself when I get them. Under the couch. Yeah. We got 23 packs of 1991 score NHL hockey cards. 23 packs. Starting bid, $15, guys. What? $15. That's, too cheap. That's $15. That's less than a dollar pack, guys. And these will be great little uh, packs that you can do, like, in between the really nice, like, packs that you're opening. So, you know, Mike opens, like, Pokemon packs. He opens uh, baseball packs from this year. I'll let Mike have one of the Ghostbuster ones, free pack for me. That is awesome. Cody Dennis there said, donate to Mike. Um, where's Mike's? There's Mike's right there. There you go, Mike. Cody gave you one of the Ghostbuster packs. There you go. That's awesome. Okay, guys. So here we go. Starting bid on these. These are We have 23 of these packs at $15. $15 bid. We're looking for a $15 bid to get 15 NHL score 1991 hockey cards. This is Series 2. And we have series uh, two English and bilingual all together going in a lot. You get 23 packs, 15 bucks, guys. $15. Give me a bid. We're going to be starting that and we're going to be ending it at $626, guys. $15 for 23 packs. Wayne Gretzky, Bobby Orr, these are great filler packs. I'll give you $10 for 10 packs. $10 for 10 packs. Yeah, that's, I mean, you're at a buck a pack now, so that's great. I'll take it, Mike. And you know what? I was only asking 15. So I'm... Yeah. Yeah. $10 for 10 packs. Sold. So... Does he want English or bilingual? Do you want English? Well, they're all English. They just have the bilingual thing. Yeah. They're all English, so it'll work. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. 
There you go, 10 packs for $10, Mike. Gotta make a box for Mike. Put Mike's stuff right in here. Okay, that's Mike's box. Cody's got a freaking stack and a half. <laughs> okay, so... Do the baseball cards? What baseball cards? Oh, those are not for sale on here. Oh, okay. oh wait, which ones are you talking about? One? Nope, not that one. Because those are. Uh, uh, I don't know what those. Yeah, those are. That's whew, open. No, those are the open ones. But these are. Uh, oh. Some of these cards are okay. worth some big bucks, and I don't think anybody would want to pay what those can what go those for. Okay. Yeah. So, Mike, are you interested in the other 13 packs? Because if you give me five more bucks, you get the, all the other 13 packs, dude. So instead of calling it 10 for $10 for 10 packs, if you give me $5 more, I'll give you the other 13. We'll just throw it in. You let me know on that. Because that's a pretty good deal. Uh, Matt, let me see. Is his stack as big... Matt, also, are you interested? Because I got, right here, Mike just paid $10 for 10 packs. I got 13 packs left. I want to get rid of them. Starting bid is at $5. It's between you and Mike, whatever you guys decide. They're 1991 NHL score hockey cards. I got 13 packs left. Starting bid is 5 bucks. Let me know if you guys are interested. Uh, Mike has a small stack. Actually, Cody has surpassed you, Matt. By 11 items. By 11 items. Cody, Cody came in swinging. You guys are interested. Five dollars. We're gonna do thirteen packs for five dollars, guys. Five dollars, thirteen packs of unopened NHL cards. That's a good deal. Even if you don't deal with the NHL, they're a great filler pack to put in between your like main baseball. Mike just bought ten for ten dollars. I'm saying these last thirteen, I want them gone. Starting bid five bucks. We're gonna close this at seven twenty nine. Five dollars here for Matt. There we go. Uh, five dollar bid. That's thirteen packs, guys. Five dollars. He says he bets his stack weighs more. It's a possibility. <laughs> it's a possibility because you have that freaking box of cards, dude. Oh wait, no, he's got two boxes of cards. He got two boxes of cards. Oh yeah, your stack weighs way more. Well, ooh, I don't know. Cody bought a box of cards as well that was like ten pounds. Plus, he's got a lot of crap. He got a lot of good stuff, guys. We're five dollars. We're going to five dollars. We're going to go one more minute. We got five dollars going once to Matt for uh, thirteen packs of NHL hockey cards or packs, packs, not just cards. Yep. We got five dollars going once. Five dollars going twice. Sold. Sold to Matt. Here you go, Matt. 13 packs. Here you go, guys. Nice. That was a good deal. Um, I do have this. Oh, my God. There's another box of football cards. Are you kidding me? I thought I had all of them out. I didn't. I had... There's this and this. Holy shites. And I told Cody that was all Cody out. Nikes. Yep. That's a lot of cards. That's a lot of cards. This one, I think, weighs as much as Matt's big box. Holy crap. These are all football, NBA hoops, and baseball. Oh, these are, these are autographed chrome. Bowman and chrome. Oh, uh, God. I didn't even look through this box yet. These are all autograph print. 
Where have these even been? I don't even though I had these years. Okay. Um. Okay, guys. Let me uh, let me weigh this. I'm gonna tell you. Whatever it weighs is what I'm gonna start the bit at. And poundage. <laughs> that's fair. Well, that's fair. If you think one card could pay for all your. Can you give me a ten dollar bid? Ten dollar bid. Ten, ten pounds. Exactly. Ten pounds. Well, it's eleven pounds. I'm gonna start at ten. Give me a ten dollar bid. We got Bowman and Chrome. We got first Bowman and Chrome cards. Autograph holographics. Give me a ten dollar bid on these tops cards. Bowman and Chrome. Bowman and Chrome, guys. Bowman and Chrome. We got baseball. We got football. We got NBA hoops, guys. We got Fleer 1990 cards. Oh, those are some good cards. We, got, we need a $10 bid. We got a $10 bid on 10 pounds of cards. We got basketball, football, baseball, NBA hoops. We got puzzle pieces from... Uh, that's a really cool set. All-star class cards. We need a $10 bid for the 10 pounds of cards. Guys, 10 pounds of cards. I'm telling you right now, it's worth it. 10 pounds of cards. 10 pounds, 10 pounds, 10 pounds. Ten dollars. We'll see if somebody takes it. Well, technically it's eleven pounds, so we'll give you that extra pound for free, just like Taco Bell does. You know what? Around what years? Uh, yes, we have nineteen ninety football cards. Uh, baseball. It's all throughout. Um, there's different years. Uh, this is two thousand twelve. Let me go to the Bowman and Chrome for you, Mike. I'll tell you that in a second. Here's some more football cards, and these are 94. Uh, this one is... Here's a Giants card right here. Uh, this is 1994. That's a baseball team? Yeah, football. There's the Giants team that is baseball. Yes. Uh, let's see. The baseball is going to be 2009. And, um, and this one is also 2009. These are Bowman and Chrome uh, print autograph cards. You guys can see that. $10 is a good deal for these. Uh, these are the Flair 1990 football ones. Uh, like I said, there's 11 pounds of cards in here, guys. It's worth it. Uh, NBA hoops right here. Um, yeah, there's just a crap ton of cards here. But it's 11 pounds. $10 starting bid. Here's the way I see it. Even if you get... You'll get your money. It's, yep. There's just no doubt in it. You're not going to not get your money. At 11 bucks, definitely. Okay, guys, $10 bid, $10 bid, 11 pounds of cards, $10 bid. Football, baseball, basketball, football, baseball, basketball, $10 bid. But now it only weighs 9 pounds. No, that's, I put it back in there. Give me a $10 bid. It's going to be closing in two minutes. We're going to go into 735, 735. We're going to get a $10 bid where? $10 bid. NBA hoops. Vern Fleming. It's a 1990 basketball cards. These are the Fleer 1990. It says 91. There's some 91, some 90s in here. And these are Fleer, guys. We're going to 735. 735. We're going for a $10 bid. $10 bid where? These are football. We have the New York Giants. We have Mark Collins on the front. Defensive back for the 1990s New York Giants. Like I said, we're going to 735. We got 11 pounds of cards, guys, for $10. Be stupid not to get it, man. I'll tell you right now, it's worth it. One minute and it's gonna go away. Yeah, pretty much. Ten dollars from Cody Dennis. There we go. Got one minute left. Less than one minute left. Yeah, we'll probably go to 736. That's where we're going to keep it. If somebody else bids, we'll go to 736. $10 for 11 pounds of cards. $10. $10. You must have seen an Eagles card while you were... Oh, there's Eagles cards in there. I guarantee it. There's so many freaking cards in there. $10. $10. $10. $10. Going once. $10. Going twice. Sold. Sold it to Kelly. Cody for ten dollars. 
Okay, good deal, guys. Good deal. Okay. Another thing here. We're saving the pops for last because the pops are the, the money maker. Okay, guys, right here we have a LeBron James and Carmelo Anthony statues. These are statues of them, so you guys can see it really up close. They're really nice, detailed. I believe these have stands with them. Yeah, they have to have the stands with them. Okay, guys, we're looking for $10 bidware, $10 bidware for the Carmelo Anthony and LeBron James statues. $10 wear. If you're into basketball, this is something that's definitely a cool piece to have. And if you're from the New York area, you know that Carmelo Anthony went to Syracuse University and LeBron James, well, if you don't know LeBron James, you don't know basketball, so you probably won't buy this. What's a LeBron James? Exactly. So we're looking for, uh, it's going to go to $738. we are looking for a $10 bid, $10 bid. These go for about $20 to $25. That's why I'm asking only $10, $10 bid. Look for a $10 bid, guys, $10 bid. It's the NBA 6 in stores now, and that was in... tell you when this was made 2004 so this is when uh carmelo anthony he was on the denver nuggets and uh lebron james was on the cleveland cavaliers i believe i don't believe they've changed teams i'm not sure but in this complete collection there was uh pj savakovich can pronounce that name carmelo anthony gary payton tim duncan scotty pippen richard jefferson alan irvinson to uh, the second edition michael finley and carl malone Guys, this is a really good a deal. Mailman. What's that? The mailman. Carl Malone. Carl Malone was known as the mailman. That makes sense. Look for a ten dollar bid. Ten dollar bid on these statues. Ten dollar bid, guys. Look for a ten dollar bid. See, I do know sports junk. Guess so. Look for a ten dollar bid, guys. Ten dollar bid. Could we get a ten dollar bid for these? Really cool statues. Really well detailed. It's actually creepily detailed. Like their faces are pretty spot on. We're looking for a ten dollar bid. Ten dollar bid where? $10 bid, guys. Look for a $10 bid. If you know anybody who's trying to do a man cave, these would be really cool pieces to have in the background. For sure. Looking for a $10 bid right there with the Carmelo Anthony and LeBron James statues. $10 bid. $10 bid. Anyone? Ten dollars. Give me ten dollars. Now five. Give me five dollars for it. I'm gonna go to seven forty. Five dollars for the Carmelo Anthony, LeBron James statues. Five dollars. Five dollars. Where guys? Five dollars. Five dollars is a great deal. Like an amazing deal, guys. These go for over twenty-five dollars. Five dollars. Where guys? Five dollars. Where? Come on, LeBron James and a Carmelo Anthony statue. Five dollars. Even if you're not a fan, it's worth it. Five dollar bid, guys. We're just looking for five dollar. Five dollar, you buy it now. Five dollar, and it's yours. We're going to six thirty or seven thirty nine, and then we're going to end this one. We're looking for a five dollar bid. It's buy it now. It's yours. Five dollars. That price, yeah. And not sold. That's okay. Okay. I think that's all my surprises from over there. Let's get on. Oh, well, we have this last thing here. We'll see if it even sells. Yep. Okay, guys, we got a GI Joe Co. This is the original from the 1970s. Really nice vintage coat. What is this called? A sack coat? HBT coat. It's an HBT coat. Yes. HBT coat from the original GI Joes, which is 1970s. And we are going to look for a $5 bid, guys. $5 bid. Look for a $5 bid for this GI Joe coat from the 70s. HBT coat, guys. I'm just going to open this to make sure the arms are good and folded. It's a really cool piece to have. 
because this is from when G.I. Joe's were released. For a $5 bid on this code, guys. $5 bid. Let you guys see it. It's even got all the buttons still. Well, actually, no, there's one belt button off one of the lapels. But to even find it without it being like moth chewed or. Looking for a $5 bill, guys. $5 bill. This is a original 1970s G.I. Joe uh, HBT coat. $5 bill, guys. Yeah? Yep. Okay. There's another one for thirteen ninety nine. Okay. Bring it down, give me a one dollar bill, one dollar bill. One dollar bill, guys, one dollar bill. Who wants a G.I. Joe nineteen seventies HBT coat? One dollar bill. Give me a one dollar bill, boys, one dollar bill. Buy it, it's yours. I'm going to give this one literally to 742 and just send it. So I didn't think that it was just kind of an extra thing. One dollar bill, guys. You put a bit in there for a dollar, I'll throw it in your box. And we're going to 742 with this one. One dollar bill, guys. One dollar bill. Time. And time. Okay. Did not sell. Okay, time for some pop vinyl, or not pop vinyls, Funko Pops, guys. Funko Pop time. And we haven't done any of those yet, either. Yep. Save those for last, you think? Yeah, those are all the specialty. Okay, we got some specialty. Oh, we got $2 from Cody on the G.I. Joe coat, right? Okay, cool. Sold to Cody Dennis, $2. There we go. That was a bargain. That was a good bargain, yeah, because they go for, like you said, like 10, 12 bucks. Okay. Just do them in the row? Yep. Okay, guys. Make sure you, if they're a specialty, you point out the sticker. Yes, I will do that. Okay, guys, we're doing some Funko Pops from Star Wars. We have number 108, Maz. Well, how do you say it? Kanata. Kanata. Maz Kanata, guys. 108. And what are we starting her at? $10. Starting her at $10. Guys, can I get a $10 for Maz? $10 is where we're starting her out. Really nice figure. Man, they did the eyes really cool, too. It looks amazing. She's creepy as hell. She is. I love it. <laughs> we got a $10 bid, $10 bid, $10 bid. Can we get a $10 bid for Maz? Kanata. Kanata. Number 108. 104 is Rey. 105 is Kylo Ren. 106 is Luke Skywalker. 107 is General uh, Leia. Leia. Wow. Brain not working. Number 108 is Maz. Number 109 is General Hux. 110 is Snap Wexley. Um, 111 is FN 211 or 2199. Uh, number 112 is Gunvian? Gunvian? Can't pronounce that name. Which one? Uh, it's the guy that's the red suit with the black circle around his face. And we have $10 from Cody. $10 from Cody for Maz. ME eight zero nine nine zero nine is the uh for one thirteen. Okay, we got a ten dollar bid, we got a ten dollar bid, can we get an eleven dollar bid, eleven dollar bid, we got a ten dollar bid from Maz. She is going till seven forty six, we got a ten dollar bid, ten dollar bid, can we get an eleven dollar bid, eleven dollar bid, ten dollar bid for Maz. Kanata. Jeff Fafa Cody, you missed out your opportunity to get yourself a Darth Vader showerhead. We had one left. We had another one. Got to have it for $15. Buy it now. We got how many left do we have? That's it. Just the one left? Yep. Okay, guys. All we have is one left. So if anybody's interested in one of those Darth Vader showerheads, we got one left. Buy it now for 15 bucks. It's yours. And Moz got on it still at $11. Is it mm, next Yep. Moz, we're looking for $11. We're at $10. We're looking for $11 for Moz. We got $10 bid. She is only going till 7.46. We got one minute left exactly right now where I said it. We got a $10 bid. We're looking for an $11 bid. We got a $10 bid. We're looking for an $11 bid. Okay, we got an $11 bid, guys. We need an $11 bid. $11 bid. Come on. $10 for Moz. We 
Got a ten dollar bid. Look for eleven. Ten dollars going once. Ten dollar bid. Look for eleven. Got a ten dollar bid. Look for eleven. We got ten dollars going twice. We're looking for eleven dollars, guys. We got ten dollar bid. We're looking for eleven dollar bid. Looking for ten dollars. We got ten dollars. We're going. We're looking for eleven. Sold to Cody Dennis for ten dollars. He's got Moz for ten dollars. Okay, his pile is ginormous. Holy crap, Batman! Cody coming in swinging. It's all that stimulus trap, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, Cody. Okay, congratulations, Cody. That's really awesome, dude. We got a Star Wars Rogue One 139. Captain Cassian Andor. Captain Cassian Andor. Number one... Th what is that? $10. $10. 139. Captain Cassian Andor. 138 is Jin Urso. Captain Cassian uh, Andor is 139. 140 is... Is it Chirrut? Emui? It's the guy that played it, man. Yep. Yeah. Uh, look for a ten dollar bid for this one. Look for a ten dollar bid. Uh, number one forty one is uh, Bayes Malbus. Uh, one forty two is director Orson Krennic. Number one forty three is Darth Vader. Number one forty four is Imperial Death Trooper. Number one forty five is Scarif Stormtrooper. Number one forty six is K two S O. Number one forty seven is C two B five. Number 148 is Jen Arso, and number 149 is the Imperial Death Trooper. Guys, number 139, Captain Car uh, Cassian Endor. We're looking $10 bid, $10 bid where? $10 bid, $10 bid where, guys? $10. We still have a bunch of Funko Pops left, so if you guys are looking to collect and build up your Funko Pop collection, make sure you stay in here, share this live out, let people know, hey, a lot of Star Wars Funko Pops coming up for sale here soon. Got a lot of them, guys, still left. And these are some good prices, especially because this is what they cost in store. And a lot of this stuff you can't get anymore. Sometimes they just stop making them. We're looking for a ten dollar bid, ten dollar bid. Where we're gonna close him down at seven forty nine, one thirty nine. Captain Cassian Andor. Come on, guys, ten dollar bid. Where ten dollar bid. Where. For ten dollar, going for a minute left. Ten dollar bid. Looking for a ten dollar bid. Less than a minute left. Going for a ten dollar bid. Is that Cody? Tell him we'll have a, he'll have a nice funeral. What do you mean? He'll have a nice funeral. Dan says you'll have a nice funeral. I have no idea what that means. And it doesn't look like we're going to get a bid on Cassian Endor. Looks like he's about to end in about 20 seconds. Yep, Endor did not sell. Set them on the table. Set them on the table. Move on to the next one. The Supreme Leader Snoke. Same. Same. Okay, guys. Next up to bid is Supreme Leader Snoke. Number 199 out of the collection. And out of this collection, we're looking for a $10 bid. $10 bid here for Snoke at 199 is name. It's number 199. Looking for a $10 bid. We have at number 190 is Rey, 191 is Finn, 192 is Poe Dameron, 193 is Luke Skywalker, number 194 is Kylo Ren, number 195 is Chewbacca, One num number uh, 196 is BB-8, number 197 is Rose, 198 is Porg, 199 Supreme Leader Snoke, uh, 200 is uh, Praetorian Guard, uh, 201 is Forced Order Executioner, and 202 is a BB9E. Guys, we're looking for a $10 bid for Snoke. $10 bid for Snoke. I mean, look at him, he's golden. We're going to go for uh, 752 on this guy. 752 is where we're going to end this. We're looking for a $10 bid. $10 for Snoke. $10 bid for Snoke. $10 bid for Snoke. 
Look for a $10 bid on Snoke. Guys, give me a $10 bid. Was he trying to wheel and deal over there? Yeah? Tell him if he wants to buy, he has to buy from the auction. I get a price out of this. <laughs> he ain't getting any deals. Cody. Okay, those look like Snoke's gonna sell either. Snoke's out. Okay, this is a Captain Cassian Endor. This is yeah, no set of already once. But this one is different. Only at Target. Oh, that's the Target special, yeah. This is the Target special, guys. You will not find this anywhere else. This is the number one fifty one. There's damage in the left hand corner of the box. What are we starting this at? Eight dollars. Eight dollars here for the Captain Cassian Andor. This is a Target special, guys. You will not find this. You know, this is something that you could only get at Target. You might find it online. But look for an eight dollar bid. Look for an eight dollar bid when it has a nine ninety nine sticker on the side. But it goes for more. We know that now. Look for an eight dollar bid. Can we get an eight dollar bid, guys? Eight dollars for Captain Cassian Andor Target special, guys. You won't get it. He's got a different kind of suit. We'll show you guys real quick. He's got the uh, blue suit on this one, and he's got the uh, brown-looking Indiana Jones kind of suit on the other one. So the special one here, plus the box, is a little bit different. Guys, we're looking for a uh, $8 bid, guys. $8 bid where? Looking for an $8 bid, guys. $8 bid. Looking for an $8 bid, guys. Looking for an $8 bid. But is Cody buying everything over there now? No. <laughs> we got an $8 bid from Cody. Cool, there you go. We got Captain Cassian Andor. I don't think we have anybody else bidding on this, so we're going to just sell it right to Cody. $8. Yep. I think, we, I think we've exhausted everybody else's funds. I don't know. Mike's probably still lingering in there somewhere. Mike's probably still lingering. He's probably waiting for something. Oh, guys, here we go. How much for this one? Which box one is, is really... Oh, that's the one with the crushed box. Five bucks. Five dollars. Okay, guys. I've got a five dollar pop here. The box has had better days, but it's okay. The figure inside is still in perfect condition. Number, he's number 68. We have a First Order Flame Trooper. We're looking for a $5 bid here. $5 bid here, guys. This is number 68. We have number 190. Whoa, that's weird. What's that? It, it's number 68, but on the back it says uh, it's got the ones all the way up from 190 to 202 instead of... Huh. Usually it has his him in there. Yep. And it doesn't. And that one doesn't. Looking for a $5 bid here, guys. $5 bid. we got a First Order Flame Trooper here. Box has seen better days, but it is in still perfect condition. Looking for a $5 bid, guys. $5 bid. $5 where? $5 where? We're going to go to 756 with this. $5 bid where? $5, guys. $5. Mike, I got a couple more bucks. Just wanted something to catch my eye. Cody, <laughs> I, hey, I get it, Mike. Five dollars for Cody Dennis. Okay, so Mike, you're out on this one. We'll just give it to Cody for five dollars. Sounds good. We'll put it in Cody's pile. Cody's pile. Okay, guys. Here we go. Luke Skywalker. What are we looking at, Luke Skywalker? <laughs> Regretting not going higher on that boba. I know, right? That boba was nice. Um. Luke Skywalker starting at ten. Ten dollars for Luke Skywalker, guys. We got a Luke Skywalker pop, number one oh six Funko pop. One oh four is Ray. One oh five is Kylo. One oh six is Luke. One oh seven is General. Oh, I've already done this whole list before. Looking for a ten dollar bid, guys. Ten dollar bid. Ten dollar bid. Can we get a ten dollar bid here for Luke Skywalker? It's 
it's Luke Skywalker. Of course he's worth at least ten bucks. A hundred percent. It's like a well a Vader I feel like would be even worth more than a Luke, you know what I mean? That Bobo is worth it, man. Trust me. What number is that one? Uh this one is number one oh six. This is a Luke Skywalker Funko Pop, guys. One oh six. The Force Awakens Luke Skywalker. Yep. Looking for a ten dollar bid. Ten dollar bid. For Luke Skywalker. We're getting this at seven fifty seven. Fifteen, eighteen. This one for seven, but it's got twenty dollar shipping. Looking for a ten dollar bid, we're adding him in less than a minute. We should bring out one of the special pops. I think it's that time? I, I think the big one. That one I know is special. Yep. And I, I have even like looked at that and gone, okay, we're looking for a ten dollar bid on Luke, ten dollar bid on Luke. You got ant on the side of the box. Right here. Yeah. Yeah, same. Looking for a ten dollar bid, ten dollar bid where? Ten dollar bid. And no sale. That's okay. Oh, yeah. What are we starting this one at? Uh, this is what it sold for online. Two zero. Okay. Let's start at 15. Okay, guys. Here we go. This is a number 221 TIE Fighter Pilot with the fighter included. Guys, this is a really nice Funko Pop. It's 221. It's got the TIE Fighter with the excuse me with the pilot in it. We are starting this at $15. This is a $15. 25, 26, 27, 28, 58. They go for up there. They can go up to up 58 bucks is what they've gone for high for. So this is $15, guys. There's Eight. one out of the box for 18. Yep. And this has got the box still with it. Guys, $15 bid. Give me a $15 bid on the TIE Fighter with the pilot. Looking for a fifteen dollar bid where fifteen dollar. This is a special one. This is a little bit bigger. You okay? Yep. This is a little bit bigger, guys. This is a bigger size pop. And you got the TIE Fighter and the and the pilot. That's pretty awesome. Uh, what came in this collection? This is the two twenty one. We had at one twenty two was Zuckus. One twenty three was Luke Skywalker from Endor. We had one twenty five that was Yoda from Dabaga, uh, Dagobah. Thank you, Dagobah. We had uh, one twenty five Princess Leia from Hoth. We had 126, Luke Skywalker, from, uh, the, and that's just him hooded. And then uh, number 127 was uh, Garandon from, he's an Empire Spy. As we're looking for a $15 bid, $15 bid. We got $15 from Cody Dennis, $15 bid, $15 bid. We got, I think it's you, Cody, and Mike left right now in the chat. Now we have at some points people hopping up and in, yep. so... But uh, since you don't want it, because you know you're selling it, and Mike said he's got a couple bucks left, we'll uh, we'll sell this right out to Cody. All right, Cody fifteen dollars to Cody Dennis. Okay. Grab the next one on the box there. Right, this one. Okay. Yeah. Want to want to start these at like five since they the damage? Uh, no. No, that's oh the yes, point. the corners are, and the bottom is. Okay, yep. Start that one at five. Okay. okay, guys, here we go. We got a 147 Rogue One C2B5. It is the Imperial Droid. We're starting him at five dollars. Got a little damage to his box, but like I said, the R2 unit is uh, our C2 C2 unit is still in good shape. We're looking for a five dollar bid. He's number 147. So this is out of Star Wars Rogue One. This is C2B5. Five dollar bid. We're looking for a five dollar bid. We got 138 is Jen Urso, 139 is Captain uh, Cassian Endor. I've also gone through this list as well. So we're not going to go through this all the way. $5 bid, guys. $5 bid. It is a very nice looking droid, too, guys. $5 bid. one of my favorites. Yeah. Yeah, I like him. He's like the black R2-D2. Well, there's a black R2-D2 in there as well. Is there? Yes. I think that's this, because there's... It's five dollars from Mike. We got a five dollar. Five dollars. Yeah. You want to do it at the buy now for Mike? Yep. Okay. Sold to Mike. Five dollars. We're gonna do it at buy now. Yep. Just get them done. Get them out. Get them done. Get them out. There you go, Mike. Five dollars. You want it? It's yours. Boom. Okay. Let's go to the next one. We got a Lando Calrissian. 
Nice. And that's the one from when he's in um, Sky City? Is it Cl- or yes, Cloud City? Cloud City. Cloud City. It's the Cloud City Lando Calrissian, number 291. Uh, he is going to be starting at $10? Yes. $10 bid. We're looking for a $10 bid for Lando Calrissian. 291 is his number. Uh, 286 is Han Solo. 287 is Princess Leia. 285 is Darth Vader. 289 is Emperor Palpatine. 290 is Wicket. W. R. Uh, Warwick. And uh, 291 is Lando Calrissian. We're looking for a $10 bid for the Lando Calrissian from Cloud City. Lando Calrissian from Cloud City. $10 bid. Where? $10 bid. First $10 gets it. First ten dollar gets it. That's how we're gonna do it. When the bid starts, it's buy it now price. Ten dollar, ten dollar bear, ten dollar bear. We're getting low on time. We gotta keep it going, guys. Ten dollar bid. There's gonna be no fight. Whoever's comment comes in and the whoever we see, ten dollar bid, you get it. Ten dollars, ten dollars where, ten dollars where. And these were only gonna go for two minutes each. And this one's already gone for a minute, so once uh, eight oh two comes around, it is gone. Ten dollars where, ten dollars where. Lando Calrissian, number 291. $10, $10. Can we get it? 801. Cody Downs, $10. Cody wins it for 10 Can't go wrong with Lando Calrissian, firm Cloud City. Uh, Tobias, Tobias Beckett? Tobias Beckett. Okay. First $10 gets him. Tobias Beckett from, uh, this would be from the Han Solo Star Wars story, yes? Yes, Yes. Uh, number 242 played by Woody Harrelson, correct? Correct. This is Woody Harrelson's character from uh, the Han Solo story. $10, first $10 gets it. First $10 bid gets it. Tobias Beckett. What number is that one? Number 242. 242. 242. It's a $10 bid, first $10 bid, who first person who comments gets it. It's a race to the keyboard. Don't have time to think. Just buy. <laughs> That's actually pretty cool. Woody Harrelson's character wasn't really good in that. Well, he was really evil in that. But he was really good at being evil. Yeah, and I was really hoping they would continue that story on. Yeah, I know. supposed to, but it's not going to happen. It, they did such a great job with those characters. Guys, like I said, these are only going for two minutes. We got 8.02. We're going to go to 8.04. First $10 bid gets it. If it doesn't, it goes back into the pile. $10 bid for Tobias Beckett, played by Woody Harrelson in the Han Solo story. $10 bid where? Can I get a $10? <laughs> One blind day with a wolf and a purr. <laughs> Every time I do that, auction your voice like a thing is cat dog. <laughs> Uh, it's an old Nickelodeon show. Uh, Come on, guys. Can we get a $10 bid? $10 bid? I think we're going to call it. I don't think anybody's jumping that high for him. That's okay. It's not like we don't have any other places to sell these, right? Yes, sir. Okay, here we go. Special, special, special. $10 right now. That's Kylo, yes. First $10 bid gets a Kylo Ren statue. Number 105. Beautiful Star Wars statue, too. Great platform. Boxes in pristine condition. Like, I don't see really any damage on it. That looks pretty. First $10 gets Kylo Ren. And he's doing the force like this. He's got his saber. Does he have a saber in his hand in this one? Yes, he does. He's got his lightsaber behind. First $10 buys him. First $10 buys him, guys. Kylo Ren. Box is in amazing condition. Pretty much brand new. You will not find these in stores like this anymore. First $10 bid buys him. Ten dollars where? Only going to eight oh six with this guy for a first ten dollar bid. First ten dollar bid gets him. Kylo Ren. You want to mix it up a little? Yeah. All right. After he's done, we'll, we'll do something a little different. Okay. I like that idea. Just had a, I don't know what that was flying at me, but mosquito killed it. Okay, I think we're gonna end it on Kylo because nobody wants him. Sorry, kid. Okay, what are we doing? Now he's depressed. Yes. 
All right, so pull out those figures, show them each up there. All of them? Yep. Okay, guys, here's what we're showing. We got Han Solo, we got DJ. Let's just keep on grabbing them. Yep. I'll just put them right in this box and just pull them up. Pull them up one at a time. Okay, okay, so. Okay, guys, so we got Han Solo and DJ. Oh my god. Plu Kuhn. Yeah. And an Imperial Guard. Both specials. Both specials from Walgreen exclusives. We have a uh, Neon Nun. Nub? Yep. Uh, a BB9E, guys. Princess Leia. The other version of Kylo Ren. The other version of Kylo Ren with the lightsabers in the front. Bosch. Princess Leia as Bosch, the bounty hunter from uh, Jabba's Palace. Yep. L337. Han Solo. A Han Solo. And the last one is... And the last one is Sidian uh, Ithono, who is a bounty hunter from uh, Force Awakens. Bid starting at $10 for choice. Bid starting at $10 for choice of what pops you guys want. You tell us. They and need to see it again, we'll hold it back up. Yep. $10 for choice out of any one of those. And how many are there? One, two. Ten dollars for choice, guys, and there's a couple of exclusives in here. So you bid ten dollars, you get choice. Your first comment, you get to choose which one you want. And you can also tell us, hey, I'll take this many. So what is that? It's uh, there's eleven right there. How much for all eleven? Oh, hundred and ten dollars. Hundred and ten dollars. Okay. Okay, guys, we got eleven pops left. Take a bid, your choice. We have the ones we just listed. Show me the Hans. There you go. Oh, he said Hans, not Hans. That's DJ. Uh uh, there's those are both the Hans there. Yep. And I th are they the same one? They are the same one. They're right there. They're both the same one. They're nineteen. Are uh, they uh, the seventy nines? And it's with the blasters. We got two of the same one. There's those. The ones that are the Walgreens exclusives are the. I think it's those two. Is it those two in the front? Ten dollars, Cody says. Okay. Okay, Cody. Which one do you want for your ten dollars? Which one do you want for your ten dollars, Cody? Got to wait for him to yep. give his answer there. And I think Mike wants some too. So, Mike, if you're interested in any of these, make sure All you get you a ten. Just put ten dollars. I put there. a ten dollar bid in there, man. Cody, just give us the ones that you want, and we'll take them out, and whatever ones you want, we'll put off to the side for you. Oh, and it's all those, too. I mean, even if they... Yeah. Here's these. <laughs> uh, just FYI, Mike, eh, like, I don't want the Hans. <laughs> okay, Cody, which ones do you want, bud? Let us know in the comment. I want to see the Leia and the Plu as well. Okay, yep. The Plu and then the Leia and is... Plu. Well, we got two different Leias. We got Leia as Bosch. And then we got this one. This Leia is from... That's uh, Return of the Jedi, correct? When they're in the forest? Yes. Okay, so there's... He wants the Plune and the L3. The Plu. So that, okay, The yep. Plu is gone because Cody bid. So he wants the L3... And here's the Leia. And these are the different. Okay, so those are Cody's. He took those for ten each. Mike, there's the. Uh, now Mike gets a say on these too. Uh, these are the Leias. We have Bosch. Well, okay. Now he says he wants Princess Leia. Okay. Well, Cody's got first choice because Cody Mike put the ten dollars. Yeah. Oh, Mike didn't bid yet. Yeah. Mike hasn't bid anything. So uh, we got two. So we got this Princess Leia. So that's the one that Cody wants. And then there's this Princess Leia, but it's the Bosch. Bounty Hunter. The Bounty Hunter. Because Cody's put the $10 bid in. Once he's done that, he's got first choice. Um, Mike. If Mike would like to bid 11 he can... From Endor. One. She wants the one from Endor. Okay, so that's that one. Yeah. Okay. So, Mike, are you interested in the Princess Leia Bosch? Or do you want... Uh, is there something else in the in the lots that you were interested in? These all go down Cody's pile. What's that, Cody's pile? 
piles. Cody's got a lot of piles. I'm sorry to hear it. That sounds very uncomfortable. It does. So he just took three there, and they were ten dollars each. Yep. Um, Mike, let me tell you what we have left. Um, and if you if you are interested in them, you got to get a bid in. Don't worry, they didn't fall that hard. Uh, we have Kylo Ren, we have DJ, we have a BB9E, we have Han Solos, uh, the two Han Solos we showed you, uh, Nian Numb, uh, we have a Luke Skywalker, we have a Snoke, we have the Tobias Beckett, we have the Imperial Guard, which is a Walgreens exclu exclusive, and we have the Captain Cassie and Endor. I will do 12 on Endor Leia. Leia. He was saying that he'll up Cody's bid. Okay, ask Cody if he's willing to go more. Cody, are you willing to go more? Because he's willing to pay more on that. On the Endor Leia. The thing is, we said $10 take it. No, I said $10, $10 was choice. Was choice, but he's saving but he, 12 but Mike didn't bid. So. Okay, so if you guys are interested in the same one, you can bid higher, but it was $10 your choice. Yeah. So, Mike, you have the Princess Leia from Endor. Unless Cody wants to go 13 Cody, if you go 13, you get the Princess Leia from Endor. Unless Mike goes 14. Um, unless Mike goes 14. And then vice versa, you guys know. I mean... So Princess Leia from Endor is right now going to Mike for 12. Give you guys a couple minutes to decide on that. It looks like it's just Mike and Cody that are left. Yeah, it is. That's why I'm... Yeah. Uh, Mike can have Endor Leia for 12. I'll take the black BB droid. Okay. okay. Okay, so Mike's got Leia for 12. If you want to take Leia off that list. Okay. Okay. Is there any other pops you guys are interested in? Because here's the list. We got Kylo. We got um, the Princess Leia Bosch. Um, we have DJ. We have Kylo Ren. Two different Kylo Rens. Um, we got two Han Solos. We got Luke Skywalker. We got the Tobias Beckett. The Imperial Guard from Walgreens. It's a Walgreen exclusive, guys. Mike says, thank you, Cody. That's really awesome you guys were able to make that deal out. Did we not do... There's some Black Series in there that we didn't touch, right? No, nope, but we did do them all. We didn't do this one. There was a bunch of duplicates. Yeah. You don't want to do that one now? Okay. So you don't want to do any of these? No, nope, those are all duplicates. There's more than one. Okay. Okay, so we got a, he got a BB instead of the Leia, right? Yep. Okay. All right, so I think uh, if they're done, we're done? Oh, I think so. I think everybody's gotten everything. Um, I don't have... I mean, there's... You want to have them message you, PM you for your, to your totals? I'll message them with their totals, yeah. Okay. Guys, I'm going to message you with your totals. Uh, I'll be messaging Mike, um, Matt, Cody, and I don't think we had anybody out of my friend group that bought. Uh, Cody, and your mother, and me, and Matt. And Mike. And my Mafia Mike. Yeah, so it was all my friends that bought off this auction. <laughs> <laughs> and we almost sold out of everything. That's good. That's That's great. Okay, guys. Well, um, what I'm going to do is I will PM you guys with your total. Um, like it says right in the about me, it says, um, has to be paid within 24 hours. I can always, uh, deliver them tonight because I got to drive out to Canton anyways. Um, and I'll be leaving in just about probably an hour. Um, so yeah, just let me know. Cody, I can drop your stuff off if you have your money. Mike, I can drop yours off. And Matt, if you're still there, I can always swing by there too because, uh, Matt and Cody live in Norfolk and... Mike lives in Canton, so... Okay, there's Mike. Okay. I'll message him that privately. Yep. Yep. Tell Cody to just sign his car over to you. Okay. Sounds good. <laughs> and we'll, uh, I'll talk to you more about that. Okay, guys, we'll be sending you a message after this, uh, gets over, and I really appreciate everybody who's come in and viewed the auction. It was really a great time. We sold out of a lot of our stuff, and, uh, yeah, I'm very happy with it, so, uh... Thank you for coming, guys, and we will hopefully have another one coming up soon. Have a great night.